Sudden. What's up, bro? What's good, my guy? Hey, you know, not shit. Let's get it. Hello to the sports listeners. Welcome. Welcome. As previously promised, we are now doing video recording for the sports show. So, what's good, my guys? Um, For anyone who listens to us just in the audio format, we do have a YouTube channel where we do upload video. Uh, which we have been doing for our Friday uh, Definitely Not Handsome show for, what, the last month now? It's been like three or four videos now, right? So close to a month now. I've pretty much got the video editing down, at least in the limited fashion that we have it going on right now. Um, But now I'm to the point where I'm pretty comfortable with just doing it for the sports show as well and i am hoping i can I, the, the clips are definitely going to keep coming i'm going to test it this week to see if i can do the video with the clips if not y'all are going to be able to see us and then it might just be one full video and the clips will come later um, but i'm gonna do my best to make that happen either way it's going to happen in the future so keep an eye out for that uh, anyone who listens if you'd like to see our not so beautiful faces you're more than welcome to subscribe to us and check us out on youtube it's just definitely not uh experts Uh, You can find us there. We have a fuckload of videos there already. And uh, we are eventually going to start doing like other content that's like not even related to the podcast, just to the YouTube channel, just shit that we're that we're going to enjoy doing just to like have a good time and just hang out. So like subscribe. Tell your family members because you never know. One of them might like us. Yeah, I just which found out. It's already happened. Yeah, yeah. It, it actually turns out that some family members of our listeners, like some of my homies and stuff, are finding out. They found out about the show through Facebook. <laughs> and they're just like, apparently some of our friends' parents and stuff are listening to us, which is exactly hilarious. Exactly. So shout out to the to the fam. What's up? <laughs> exactly. Hell yeah. Um, so we gotta we gotta we gotta do this right off the bat. Big old fat breaking news holy shit bro the washington football team just beat the undefeated 11 and 0 pittsburgh steelers should we just call them the redskins now again bro i've been calling name? them the redskins all year st- man i mean come on bro i mean i call them the redskins the same way i call vegas oakland like i mean i get it right redskins that's a little bit but it's I rough mean, they they beat the steelers we still Cle- we still call cleveland the browns they, I mean, they beat Come the Steelers. So can we just say the Washington football? I mean, that's tough. They just beat the Steelers. So they're clearly not just nobody. You know, they they we gotta give them some. I'll call them Redskins for this episode. That's it's huge, <laughs> dude. <laughs> they need to get a new name quickly. I think they're gonna wait to the end of the season though, and they'll have another one next year. And now um, the Redskins, they're they're so by winning that game, they're still tied with the Giants. Uh, so let me see here. I don't know if they win the tiebreaker. Okay, the the Giants win the tiebreaker over the over the the Redskins, but now the Redskins are still tied though. So like, if they get a couple more dubs or something, they still can win the division, which is huge. Right. So big props to them. That's a huge win. That is. Um, huge. The Buffalo Bills are playing the 49ers as we speak right now while we're recording. So um, if that game finishes by the time we're done, I don't think it will. Um, but we'll keep you guys updated as time goes on. I'll be peeping that every so often. Um, you want to just start with the NBA? Is there anything else we want to address before we get into it? Just want to clink. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll start things off appropriately since y'all can see our not-so-beautiful faces. My name is Heston. And I'm Name. And we are definitely not experts. Ever. I'm just, I'm just playing at all. Don't take this <laughs> seriously on a goddamn thing we say. Really not? Yeah, guys, don't take this shit to heart. Because don't do it. We we have one dude comment, right, taking it to heart. Hard and as then, fuck. And then after that, the next show, I, like, obliterated the guy. because You know, you can tell he listens to this show, though, because it was very obvious that he, he wasn't an expert. So that so. day, that, that day he commented. Weirdly, we were right. He had a bunch <laughs> to say, yep. but... About they're, the black guy. They're, they're also right. The black guy of the Yikes. show. Yikes. There are also proceedings that <laughs> tend to happen after right. that one show. Weird. So I mean, I thought that I was building it up to like I'm gonna have more information later. Yeah. And he jumped the gun yep. and he ended up looking hey, silly. So 
It happens. I, but return. Like, comment on something else. Say, like, bro, haha, <laughs> you got me. I mean, or don't say anything. Because yep. and just been, enjoy the show. You, you've been quiet uh-huh. ever since. So. Yep. All right, I so mean. we got to do the clank. <laughs> clank in a sip. Hell yeah. Yep. And Delicious. a clank to you guys. I already took my sip, so y'all late. Y'all better take y'all sip with me, right? <laughs> Yo. Yo. Fuck yeah. We got some good All right. stuff. Um, so we'll just we'll get in the NBA, and then we'll proceed. Um, couple of big signings they were expected, but it's official now. Uh, LeBron James signs a two year max. Anthony Davis signs a five year max. So with expected. those two signings, do you believe that the Lakers are probably done making moves now? Nope. No. You think they're gonna do something else? Yep. Such as what? Such as so we signed Montrez. On a like veteran deal, which is no crazy. Way. Oh, dude, we got him for veteran amount. Wow, of which you would think, right? The six man, six man of the year. Get made. He he making more bread than that. Nah, he come to the Lakers and he take that. He took like well, he a probably went very small. LeBron deal. and AD. Come on, bro. Bet. Come. That's probably like playing with them is you, probably even better than winning a ship. Bro, like so just being able to say that like this is what you, you do right? with them was like it's probably really cool. All you do with the Lakers since they have LeBron and AD, if you're any other player other than maybe like Dennis, who's saying like, bro, I'm not, I, I want to start. Right. I feel like if I start, I could bang with this squad. Anybody else other than him, you you probably want to go take your little minimum veteran deal mm-hmm. and just hoop. That year, they're gonna bring you back on a bigger contract. Right. I mean, if you don't, then or you, you just get signed you, you for can, fat money somewhere else. You feel me? Right. You will. Sh- you can go somewhere else and get some money. So right. I feel like Montrez came that you will only gonna pay you for one year. It's gonna be very minimal, even though he's the sixth man, right? If he just balls out, well then hey, like look, we got some money for you down the line. Okay, we just gave a lot of money to LeBron. We just gave a lot of money to Anthony. You see the type of team we got? If we push. And you want to push on a minimum, just keep taking the minimum until LeBron decides I'm going to come back for a max or I'm going to just do these one ins, one outs. Right. Well, he did a two year. Yeah. Well, he did oh, a two so year this time. Option, though? Oh, but okay. usually he does one year. Yeah. He's like, one year in, pay me hella bread, and then I'll decide if I want to come back. He did that because Anthony signed five. Right. So he's like, why not? Like, yeah. So, but the thing is, right, we saw LeBron sign two first, then Anthony signed five. So right. it, if you watch sports, you pretty much knew when LeBron signed the two. Anthony was about to sign sure. the max. Like yeah. there, a lot of people were like, "LeBron signed, but Anthony hasn't." Oh my gosh, what's gonna happen? I mean, come on, bro. Yeah, like, stupid. He's gonna go right back. I right. mean, where else would he go? Right. They just won a championship. Hell I mean, yeah. What are we talking about? Uh, shout yeah. out to the NBA. They will not be doing any testing for marijuana this year on any of their players. You know why? Why is that? Because a lot of their players test positive all the time oh, when sure. they do that. Yeah. And so a lot of players that have been detrimental to the game smoke weed, man. And so if you if you say weed is not a, a, a it's an illegal drug, yeah. Then who's really about to be playing in the damn season? No one. But we've already had this talk, yeah. right? These players, the physicalness. It's not they even get, just play. Everyone it's, it's, it's smokes just, weed, so, bro. No, but I'm so, like maybe the only person this, this that is, fucking this, does it. This is where it differs down, though. Like us as fans, right? Not just us, right? Just casuals. They talk shit about football players, basketball players, boxing. Yeah, it's really stupid. Like, They're like, like well, dude, if they make all that money, why don't right, they just what not if, smoke? It, and I'm like, it, well, it's like, it's like, guy, if you talk that much shit about them, play them one-on-one. Or you fight them. Or you do this. I bet you you get your ass whooped in a quickness. And you will understand, like, they're on a whole different level, bro. Like, that's why, I mean, I think... I'm going to be honest. I do think that people in sports make way too much money. I'm just being real. Do I think that I could beat any of these guys? I mean, give or take in basketball? Maybe a couple. And now, if I got myself back in shape and played, maybe a couple I, I could beat. Like, But LeBron, though, and like, we're talking about heavy hitters of the sports world. Like, bro, like the, the hate has to stop because these dudes do so much. It, it, it it's just it's it's weird, bro. For us to be talking shit about them, and you just play them, then play them, fight them, or do whatever whatever sport it is, hockey or UFC or Conor McGregor sucks. Okay, get in the, get in the octagon with yeah. him. You know this guy sucks. Get in the boxing ring with him. This guy sucks. Dude, I'll give anybody who has said Javale McGee is trash 
Play him one on one. Play him one on one. I guarantee, bro, you will not score not one fucking point. The dude is like seven four I talk with a like a shit. wingspan of dog. But I, if you played him though, right? No, I mean you wouldn't score a point. I don't act like I'm better than any of them. It's just, it's just so that's that's where I, I try to get like talk shit or stuff, right? Depending on who's listening. But I mean moderately, right? Just, just, well, for me, I talk, just don't I talk, bash these talk, dudes, man. I talk like, a lot of mess. But it's crazy. But like in the vein of their profession, so right? Like, I've said this before. Right. Like I'm like Daniel Jones sucks. He's a but he's still but, an athlete. Like he's still a but, professional football player. Like you don't become the starting quarterback of any football team by being a bum. Like that doesn't happen. That but means you're good. When you compare him to the other 31 starters in the NFL, then you like, can say something. Start to get a little spooky. But then yeah. at the same time, like how much can we really say? You know, what I mean, like me on Baker. I mean, this is our fucking show. We can say whatever we well, want. Well, me on Baker, right? <laughs> I've been grilling this guy, but yeah. every time I grill him, he's killed it. Yeah, we know you listen, Baker. So I mean, at the at the end of the day, I'm either gonna have to just keep grilling Baker, and Cleveland looks good. Yep. Or maybe I should say, well, Baker changed my mind, and then they suck again. Yep. Like, which has happened, also. It, that literally <laughs> has happened. Yeah, like like so, earlier this year, you're like, it you know literally what? happened. I think I, think I, I was like, like, you know what, Baker like, turned around, and then they lost, and yep. I'm like, okay, like to, like to a bad team too. Like, exactly. I think it was so, to Cincy. Like exactly. they lost to someone stupid, or the Lions, or some shit. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, let me go back to talking shit and look at them. They're sitting here, what, 10 and 3, 9 and 3, or some. This is a goo. I think they're 9, nine and, three. and 3. Or so, no, 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 no. They have three losses. It's like some goofy shit. But which maybe I should. Oh, uh, they're 8 and 3. There you go. So should I just keep the same energy like Baker, you suck, and then Cleveland looks good? Or should I just be like, Baker, he's turning around? What do you want? And then he looks bad. I mean, for Baker's career, because <laughs> I mean, I'm a nobody right, right at the end of the day. Because he's a damn. No matter what happens, he's a celebrity. Yep. I mean, at the end of the day, yep. My opinion, I'm I'm a nobody. Yep. So I mean, for his sake, I would just I'm gonna keep talking shit about him. Okay. I mean, I I don't want to change my tone. Okay. But hey, I, we all believe. Hey, any sports fan believes in superstition, bro. So I'll talk shit about him, but I'm gonna start picking him to win. But I'll talk shit with. Okay. Him. okay. Because usually I don't talk shit and then pick right. them to yeah, win. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I talk shit and pick him to lose. Right. And then they do. He does the opposite. So okay. I mean, and he broke records and did all kind of shit. Okay. So cool. Yeah, I, I mean, dig. That, I mean that's just how it goes. I just think as sports fans, people have to understand these dudes. Their whole year, they dedicate to like. Working out and doing some shit that we would never think about doing, and okay. even if we do it, it's not on the level of how they do it. So we we gotta rein it back a little bit and and give a little bit more respect. All right. And so that's just what all this stemmed from from that. So yeah. Okay. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. Uh, another set of breaking news. Two sets of breaking news that that kind of go hand in hand. Um, Russell Westbrook was traded to the Magic for oh. Wizards. Wizards, my bad. Um for for John Wall and uh a pick. and a first round pick. Dude, they won that trade, right? Like infinitely. So we can't say that yet. I mean, come on. So it it, it would be nice to say that Houston Well, okay, so let me say the next set of news because I think that's right. why what you're saying what you're saying. It, so the it, next set of news, they got John Wall and a first round pick, but even after this James Harden is sitting out right now. He's holding out. So they could have made this trade. They could have signed. Who else did they sign? Who did they sign again? DeMarcus, DeMarcus. Cousins. Right. They, got they could have signed DeMarcus Cousins. They could have done this trade, got the first round pick. And James Harden could still say, fuck off. And right now he is. He's sitting out. So. Right. And, and like, the GM doesn't know shit. Like, he's not talking to anybody. Because he's a new one. Daniel Moore is gone. Right. So he Man. hasn't talked to Harden. Harden's just holding out. I'll say this: I I think in an overall standpoint, if John Wall comes back healthy and balls out like he did before, Houston kind of won the trade. Sure. The, the only thing is, John Wall is like a Westbrook. I think he's better than Westbrook. I th- well, no, so, I think he's I think he's easier to play with. This is what I'll say. When you get into the stats of who has the ball all the time, how many shots they take, what their percentages look like, they're like almost identical. John Wall shoots a little bit of a better three, but other than that, everything else is the same. Mm -hmm. So that makes it a little tough to say, like, is John Wall really better for Harden? I mean, because they're the 
even even if John Wall and Russell Westbrook like have identical stats, Houston still got a first round pick too, regardless. Which makes me say that they basically won. Even if their value is the same, Houston still also got a first round. Not pick. necessarily, only because like, what does that first round pick fall? That's the thing. I mean, they gave it to the Wizards, dude. How good are they going to do? Well, I mean, so but it, the NBA is different, though, right? Like, only the first like ten picks or so are like relevant, isn't that right? Like, it's kind of like it's not like the NFL where like the I first think, couple of rounds like are dudes. I would say both teams won, and what you have to look at is. Harden's going to have to play at some point in time. Or he can just sit out and do an Anthony Davis thing where you're just going to have to trade me, dude, or I'm not going to play for you again. I don't think Harden is going to do that in Houston because, I don't know. It's it's just the the feel of it. I don't think Harden does that in Houston. I think Harden says, okay, at least you gave me Wall. I could play a couple games with him. Wall and Cousins. You you know? Right. I could play a couple games with these dudes. Um I think it's a little bit different is only because Bill has been waiting for John Wall to return. He's been hurt. And so he's already come out and said, bro, I'm ready for Wall to come back. We about to crush it as soon as he comes back. And literally like a week or two right before Wall got traded, he was like, God, Wall's back. He look good. Like, I'm ready. So you're saying that by that indication, you Westbrook. think he's going to be like fully healthy? Who? Wall? Wall, yeah. Wall will be fully healthy, right. but... Bill wanted Wall. Well, right. He didn't ask for Westbrook. The team just got Westbrook. Well, yeah. So now you have to look at the dynamic of Bill trying to say, look, Westbrook, like, it, it's tough. It's tough because we we seen Bill play without Wall. And so Bill pretty much became the star of Washington. It's true. Bill no, is did. now there's no pretty much. the face of Washington. Yeah, it doesn't uh, uh, matter Davis, who else comes. Davis Bertans is out there too, right? Yep. Yeah, that's not – Bill okay. – the Bill – We've seen him drop 40-30 without Wall, yep. and, ma- and he made the All-Star. Yep. He actually made the All-Star. That was his first you know? year, right? Right. Without Wall, though. Right. You know? Yeah. Without Wall. If right. Wall was there, he might not have. probably wouldn't have happened. Right. But you make it on – so it, everything's a pretense, right? Sure. We can come out and say, man, Westbrook and Bill look a little scary. But I don't really know because Bill wanted Wall to come back, and Wall's just been hurt. And that chemistry is important. Now, 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 now you get a Westbrook who is just like a stern ass dude. Like, bro, like this my team. I run this. This what I'm gonna do. It doesn't matter what you say. I'm gonna do this. I don't think it works. It, it probably so I don't to think me. It, does. it doesn't. And no. so now you literally almost gave up. You gave up Wall, who you knew Wall and Bill worked because they understood each other. Right. Bill was cool with Wall coming yeah. back. Now you just pull in Westbrook. And on top of that, Westbrook's getting paid a lot too. So uh, like a bunch. They're, they're taking so the contract about, up too. But Bill getting paid a lot too. So. Yeah. Bill got his max. Bill maxed out oh, okay. while John was hurt. So Bill got his max too. But the thing is, you just you just because Bill got a max, you don't just bring in anybody and be like, here, work with him. Cause you can that's not how it works, mm-hmm. dude. Washington, I, I'd be surprised if uh, you know I They could I, make like an eight seed or something, but I, I you know what I think? I don't think they'll be competitive. I think it'd be more crazier to see Bill and Westbrook fight. Because maybe they might mesh well, and they might do good. It's it's only because you, you have to look at how Westbrook has always been, and you have to look at Bill. I mean, Washington wasn't winning anyway. So, I mean, you bring Wall back, you're already going off of what y'all already had. Y'all didn't win nothing anyway. So, I mean, push comes to shove. The only issue that you hope doesn't happen is Bill and Westbrook don't like each other. You hope that they just say... I'll let him do what he wants like, to do. They can at least just be professionals right. and be and like, just all play. right, let's just figure that's, it out. That's going to be their best thing to do. Yeah. If Bill comes out and says, like, I don't like playing with him, or it, they're fucked. They are fucked bad. Yeah, and they lost they're the first bad. round pick, too. So it's like, gone. gone. Yikes. Gone. Yikes. I mean, that's crazy news in a way. But I would still think like Dennis Schroeder and Montrez going to the Lakers is still bigger than that. I think so like, too. But you know I mean? Houston is still like a big topic in the right. NBA right now. Just I mean, we got to talk Harden. about them because it's Harden. We have to really see what Harden does. Right. I, I think if Harden came back and played with Wall, he'd be all right because he got DeMarcus. Right. Literally, all he needed was a big man. Okay. Right. Which we've already talked about this. Mm-hmm. Clint Capella was the worst give up. 
are the worst Dude, move. Dude, I, I still think he's like criminally underrated. I and, think bro. I think Clint Capella is so good. Dude. And now Atlanta's about to look dumb. Atlanta is about to look dumb. I think we said this before. They're like, in my opinion, they're one of the top bandwagons to jump on this year. I mean, they're like, it's, they're like the Cardinals, but like Cardinals are six and six now. But like, like similar though, they have decent big men, right? And you have a dude who can shoot like forty feet from the rim. I mean, yep. I don't cake. What are we talking like about? regularly? It ain't no thing, bro. What are we talking about? Trey Young's a beast. What are we talking about? Yeah, it, it. Like I said, bro. And what's even better? It's Christmas Day. I don't know if you've seen the yeah, schedule. Yeah, I posted it. Yeah, I shared it. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I made that post. Oh, my gosh, bro. Dude, the Christmas Day lineup Everything is Everything except for like loaded. one game right. out of the five or six oh, yeah. is trash. All the Dude, rest, though, are fucking Are you doing anything for Christmas? Fire. We're not making plans, Heston. Oh, come on, man. We'll, we'll talk about this later. Oh. Me and Heston are no longer making plans to watch any sports events, guys. Because he, he let me down again for like a second or third time, which I didn't even know about the first or two. But me and Hessen will not be sport eventing um, together. So come on, man. Yeah, whatever, Skip. Come on, man. Come on, Skip. Come on, Skip. Come on, Skip. Don't do me like that. Uh, you did me like Don't that, do Skip. Me like no, that. you've done me like that, Skip. It's not you've my done fault me like that. that my best Look. friend just well, one of my best friends to to, to plan his yeah. bachelor party and yeah, his that. wedding. On both the Saturdays of the upcoming fights, we were weeks in advance on these plans, guys. I can't yeah. back look, guys, out of I can't guys, back look, out of a bachelor if, if, party. If, if Heston on. wants to talk mess to me, y'all go back and listen to the shows. We were so hyped talking about all this stuff. Go go back and listen to the past couple weeks. We were talking about this fight already for weeks to come, and and he bachelor party me. So I mean, I I respect it, but uh, you know, on the real, bro, we should I respect hang, it. If mm, I don't know mm, what my Christmas plans mm. are. Nope. But I think the day of Christmas, I don't think I'm doing anything. I think I'm just here. So if that's the case, you should come over and we should watch basketball all day. 2020? Yeah. We're, we're not doing anything. Come on, dude. Catch me in 21. Come on, dude. Catch me in 21. Come on, man. I'm, I'm being, I ain't, skip. Come on, skip. I'm telling you. <sighs> all right, because man. all I'm going to do right, I'm going to say, bro, let's watch this game on Christmas. And then if Christmas is going to be like, well, bro, you know what? <laughs> my mom invited me over. I'm going to go over there. Well, and so, no, no, I believe nope. my mom and my stepdad are out of town for Christmas. See, That's I don't why. know that. And I'm not going to I'm not gonna butter myself up for this. I told Hessen he was going to have to eat this on this show. And he just has to eat it, bro. But, I mean, I'm not lying, though. Ask Heston. We, we made multiple plans to watch multiple stuff, and it's never happened okay. on, on Heston's part. So, All right. No. I mean, 2021, right? Make some big things happen. I mean, it's not Christmas Day, like, eight now, hours of, like, baller basketball games. What you whatever. can do, though, is you can watch Anthony Joshua fight. And then if you watch that, we'll talk about that. And then in 2021, you give me some hope. That's a boxing fight, which we were scheduled to watch as well. But now I'm canceling that. Which one was that? It was going to be, it's going to be, like, next week. Well, no. Because remember, this, I told you, this weekend I, told or you next weekend? I told you we had like two weeks in a row. Where right, we which to, was like this past Saturday. This, and this one just Saturday, passed. Right? An, another big one is happening for heavyweights. Right, but I told right. you that's when my that's when my friend's wedding is. That's why I can't watch the fight. So see, so you took the Errol Spence fight to a bachelor party, and then you took this next fight to the wedding. So you, right. you took both of those out. I didn't take shit. It's not my goddamn wedding. Guys, can he be mad at me or no? Nah? That's because, some bullshit. Bro, me and Hessen talked about this for like a month. That's some bullshit. A month before. So, guys, y'all comment. Y'all go ahead and comment. Who's wrong, me or him? It's some bullshit. Who, who's wrong in this? Because me and Hessen already had all this planned. He's wrong. That so that Straight wedding up. that wedding should have been has been planned way before no, right dude, now. No, we it's literally been, just guys, got the invitation like ten days ago. Guys, y'all like, talk to Hessen on this. Long. Y'all talk to Hessen on this, guys. Let him know. Look, Bro, I'll show you the text message right no, now. I believe this, you. No, I'm, I'm a, I believe I'm a show, you. No, I'm gonna show you. I'm no, gonna show you. This is what I'm saying, though. You need some context. No, I can give you context. Weddings okay. aren't just made in the last six months this of the was, year. This was though. That's guys, what I'm saying, guys. Look, so, so Hessen has to take look, this L, right, guys? Look, Hessen got to take this L, right, guys? I already know Hessen is being 100 legit. Look, got it on Friday, November 20th is when I got it. That's guys, two weeks ago, guys. Hessen can't be grilling me, right? Let him know this is on him. This is not on That's me. That's not on me, bro. We're, we've had these plans made way before he got that text message wedding, right? Come so on. So you're telling me. Nope. That's so not what I'm telling me. No, 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 no. So you're telling That's me, not right? What I'm telling you. Like That's Mario. Not what I'm telling you. Luigi. That's, right. Luigi's getting go. married, right? I would go. Right. But I would know way ahead of when we did. Well, that's not my fault, though. It's not. 
But you're still going to be salty about it. Where are you going? That's some bullshit. Now, there dude. you go. That's some <laughs> bullshit. <laughs> Hit your Yeti, bro. Come on, man. Look, let's clank one more time. <laughs> Come on, clank me again. You're going to make me watch all these yeah. games by myself. Yeah, man. it's okay because I scheduled to watch all this stuff with you and we don't. So, yeah. Okay. And well, now, what about now, what about the look, Mike Tyson fight when you just decided to go take this crazy trip to Oklahoma? This is the only thing. Because we talking about watching the Mike Tyson fight ever since it was announced. Like, what happened there, bro? But when I do it. Where, where were you at? But when I do it, where right? Where were you at? Okay, so look, let's do this. Let's do this. On Christmas Day, I'll go see my family and I'll pull up to watch these games. All right. Now, if from now till Christmas, uh-huh. something comes up and you tell me, bro, my well, bad, bro. Well, let me bro. do this. Like I said, because our Christmas plans are weird, let me touch base with my mom first. I believe I have Christmas Day off, though. You already said, but you you just gave me a proposal, though. So what well, is it? I told you I want to make sure I have it open. But if it's open, like, we got to link up. How, though? What if mine's ain't open? Then cool. No, it's not cool. When we make plans, bro, to do something, I'm 100 with him. I then, don't care about then, nothing else. Then let's figure. Let's let's check our shit and we then revisit next week. Okay, let's do that. Bet. Yeah, bet. 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 Okay. Bet. Then if everything's cool, then we're, then like let's make it happen. It'll be a date, bro. Let's make it happen. And like yeah, I'll, 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 I mean, I'll, I'll jay you off, bro. So he he stood me up right for two or three dates when I've been waiting for this BJ right, and he still ain't he still ain't came through, and so now he wants me to do a fourth or fifth date right. On 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 his schedule, you see this. Why I don't see you see you see how people be. You see how people be. No, nah, I'm just playing though. Um, congratulations, right? If y'all are listening to the couple that texted him, I really do want him to take y'all as a priority. But Hessen has just pooped on me like before y'all before y'all. So y'all just get added to the list of we made plans <laughs> to do a bunch of stuff, and he never he doesn't do them with me and and it's okay right i get it it, it is what it is my feelings aren't hurt because i don't really have them but if he wants it's to make plans good. to watch all this stuff he just gotta be ready to watch all this stuff i i am yeah christmas is gonna be lit like it, 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 it's it, gonna be sick yeah if if we can chill yeah yeah i gotta make sure hey go ahead you will do, <laughs> do that before you make plans well no me. well the reason why is because i was talking to my mom about it she said we're gonna have two christmases like she said that we're gonna have like like a before Christmas and an after Christmas because her and my stepdad like they gotta go pick a car up or some shit from like Dallas. That's kind of cool though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like they gotta like so, they have shit that they gotta yeah. do. And my mom was like, my mom was like, do y'all really care? Like she felt really bad. She's like, y'all are like we're not gonna be together on Christmas. Like do y'all care? Like she felt like super guilty. And me and Hannah were like, nah, dude. Like do whatever you gotta do, man. Like we'll we'll hang out whenever we hang out. You know what I mean? It's not that big a deal. Like, as long as there's, like, a get-together and there's food and, like, we're having a good time together, like, that's what matters. You know what I mean? Right. So, that's why I believe I'm going to have Christmas open. I think my mom said that, like, we would do something, like, the morning of or the day before, like, in the morning. And then they would go do their shit. And then when the, when they get back is when we do everything else. So, I think it's going to be open. I'm going to double check with her, though. I'll text her right now on the show. Yeah, go ahead. I'll text her right now. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll yeah. text her. Yeah, you have to. You you just trying to make up now. Oh, that's yeah. all he's doing, guys. He's just making up. But he's really he he has he has crushed my feeling because he he knows how big I am on a lot of this stuff that we were supposed to have planned to watch, and he couldn't. But I'm okay with it, right? Because I know my guy's busy, so it it is what it is. But yeah, I'm not letting I'm not gonna let Heston let me down any longer. It's just not gonna happen. Guys. All right. Well, I just texted her, and yeah. she's probably still up right now. So. She'll uh she'll get back to me. It's all love. Me and Hessa can watch a whole bunch of stuff, but if Hessa commits, he needs to stay committed, guys. Okay, because my feelings get hurt when when he doesn't. No, I respect it. Yeah, I'm not trying to let you down. Yeah. So if I get a text message later during the show, <laughs> we'll we'll revisit. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Let's move on. To, let's move on to the fighting world, though. So there yeah, was a fight it. this past week. Sure was. Um. That sure was. you were able to catch. I uh, want you go ahead and tell us about it. How was it? What do you oh. what do you think going in? How do you think about what happened? So, um, Errol Spence, Danny Garcia. I'm pretty sure y'all have all seen it by now, except for Heston, who was supposed to watch it with me. But it's okay. He went to a bachelor party, right? So all is forgiven. But the basis of this fight was very important because Errol Spence considers himself the best welterweight. But we got Errol Spence, we got Manny Pacquiao, we got some other people that's in that conversation. And Errol Spence just literally flipped this car like 30 times. The whole car was done, and he only had a few scratches on his face. Oh, wait, face. didn't you see? 
did you say that he was the guy that that movie was based off of? Is that what we were talking about? Mm -mm. Okay, all right, never mind. Yeah, no. Disregard what I just said. Um, okay, because we were talking about that at one right. point, too. Errol Spence got in a car accident. If y'all haven't seen it, his car flipped like 50 times. His car was like shredded to pieces. That's nuts. Um, But he only had like a couple scratches on his face where he had to get like a jaw surgery, and that, that was pretty much it. He didn't have no broken bones. Nothing was lacerated. Everything was like good to go. Um, Danny Garcia is a very good fighter. He was like 36 and two, if I'm not mistaken, or 36 and three with like 21 knockouts. So he, he was not a scrub, um, at all. Um, Errol Spence whooped his ass from like beginning to end. I, I would have gave, I gave Danny Garcia maybe like three rounds, bro. And like Out of how many? 12. Oh, wow. And three rounds, bro. I was like pushing it. Sure, you're and like you like some of those like split rounds. You're like, all right, like even if we count those. But like, I mean, mm -hmm. like the thing was like Errol Spence. You could tell he was taking rounds off. Like he was just chilling and he was letting Danny throw more. So I mean, do those rounds really count towards they do Danny? That sometimes, right? Yeah, so, like they'll take a round off where they're like they'll just kind of hang. Errol chilled for like the tenth and eleventh round, but like he whooped his ass the first like nine rounds, mm -hmm. and then like the tenth, eleven, he kind of like chilled. Danny threw a little more. Right. Danny's best bet was like knocking him out. Like it, 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 if you watch the fight, it was just a pure beat down. It wasn't even close. Uh, Errol Spence easily unanimous decision beats Danny Garcia. So now the next fight that's going to happen is either Terrence Crawford. We got Errol Spence and we got Manny Pacquiao. Those are the top three dudes in that division. One of them going to have to fight each other. Okay, if they keep just fighting scrubs, then it's... Yeah, then, like, what's the point? So, I feel like either Terrence or Errol, one of them are about to fight Manny. And then after that, somebody's going to fight somebody else. Because Manny, Manny has a belt right now, right? Manny has one. Okay. Errol got, like, two or three. And okay. uh, Terrence has, like, one. But they're all in the same division. That why? How are there multiple belts? Because like, the you got a WBO, mm -hmm. you got a WBA, you got a... Like, there's different, what like... What does that mean? The, the, well, they're all like so. All these belts are different. I don't want to want to say like federations, but it's almost like if you watch wrestling, you got an intercontinental, you got a, a heavyweight, you got a lightweight, you got a. You know what I'm saying? But within the same division, they're like three to five different belts that are held within one division, but they're from different promoters, right? So like, Terrence Crawford fights with, um. I'm Bob straight, Arum. I'm be straight up with you. I think it's uh, fucking it's, it's stupid. Just, it, it is stupid, right? But different people fight with different. I get it. Places, promoters, and I shit, get it, right? And I so that's it. how the belts get split up. They should just have like that's one belt, split. though. Like exactly. you have a champ. And so that's it. I, I don't think they should have one belt. But what I do think is when you have a dude who's just running the belt over and over and over, you need to make like the main dudes that are just running those belts over and over fight each other to see who really just deserves six or seven belts or you know whatever it ends up yeah. being like and just make them undisputed like so what they do which is kind of smart is they like just have them fight off on like little scrubs and make us all buy the pay-per-views and watch all these fights right right hoping that one day we'll see like the main shit happen which now Errol Spence Manny has to happen or Terrence Crawford Manny has to happen or Terrell versus Errol Spence like that has to happen in their weight, there's nobody that is even close to those three guys in that weight. Like, not even close. Like, they have to fight each other, right? So, two people are going to fight the other person. That third person who's left out just going to have to fight somebody else again and just destroy them. And it's okay. Because Earl Spence is destroyed. Opposition. Manny Pacquiao destroyed other opposition. And Terrence Crawford has destroyed other opposition. So, it's just now at this point... They have to fight each other. Like, anybody else that they fight out of that division, they're going to beat the fuck out of them. And Danny Garcia, though, was a very good fighter. But even he got his ass whipped by Errol Spence, which is a little crazy to see. But anybody who watches boxing pretty much had Errol Spence. The reason they didn't know is because of that car accident. But, I mean, sure. Errol... And, there, and that was kind of like... Um, right. Bro, like, like that was like the one caveat. Like, that was they're it. like, if he that doesn't do well, like that's why. That's why. But other than that, bro, he actually to me looked almost a little bit better than what he looked like before the accident. So I don't really know how to take that. To me personally, in that division, I think Terrence Bud Crawford 
is the coldest out of all of them. I think Errol Spence will give him a better run for his money than Pacquiao. I just I see Pacquiao beating like other people. I don't see Pacquiao beating Errol Spence or Terrence Crawford. I think Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence is the fight to make in boxing. Whether they do it or not, it's whatever. They didn't do it with with Wilder and Joshua, which should have been the biggest like heavyweight fight. They didn't do that. They just, you know, he went and pulled Tyson Fury from a, dr- a drug infested. You ain't with shit. And, you know, so now Tyson Fury and Wilder is in some shit that shouldn't even have been. Right. Wilder should have just went straight to Joshua. And let, like, let's, like, you know, like they just, they kind of like, they make them have to fight other people that it's sure. not, you know. So Errol Spence Crawford. I think is the biggest fight, but Errol Spence or Crawford will end up fighting. They're gonna fight Manny first, and then the other person is gonna just fight another scrub dude, sure. beat his ass, and then right, right, right. The main fight sense. will happen from that. Right. But I mean, that's just what it is. So yeah. Okay. There's nothing crazy, but you know, well, I mean, we also gotta talk about for some weird reason Floyd wants to come out and fight Logan. Yeah, yeah. So that was something else I had on here. Uh, Floyd, Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather is going to fight Logan Paul. Some One of our listeners commented on social media about that, and they said that Logan Paul called him out. That's why. I get it. A lot of people call out Floyd. but Yeah, like why is Floyd picking this fight? Floyd, right? come on, yeah, But bro. it's because he knows he's going to win, right? This is the thing. I mean, we can say that, right? We can We can say that. We can truly say that, right? But it doesn't matter who Floyd fights. He just wins. Even if it's a person that, if y'all are calling him out, right, we, we can't say that he's picking fights because he knows he'll win. People are calling him out. If you call somebody out, what does that mean? You would beat them. So, I mean, I think Jake would have been better calling out Floyd. But, bro, if you got beat by KSI a couple times and he's just <laughs> another YouTube it's sensation, true, like, what the fuck do you think Floyd's going to do to you? Floyd's going to kill you. Yeah, I, uh, that's like, actually something I'm a little excited it, to see, though. Cause, like, it's Floyd, ridiculous. That, well, here's the thing, though. At the same time, I do feel like Floyd should still respect Logan Paul, though. Because I feel like if he doesn't respect him, Logan could, like... He will, though. Get something in. He will. You think and, so? And that's the problem. Really? Bro, Floyd just came back and fought a couple dudes that he shouldn't have respected. But he respected them. But then, eventually, as soon as, like... A round or two goes by, Floyd just literally makes him look like, why did this fight even happen? Yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, Jake would have been a better candidate. See, that's what I because said. Because Jake Jake actually boxes. has boxing background. Yeah. Like, Logan is just getting into it. Jake has been trying to do this. Right. Like, I said the same thing. I thought I thought of Jake, especially like, like Jake just beat Nate Robinson, like, in the exhibition match. In, in a crazy fashion. Right. Like, not beat him. He just, like... He, d- d- like bro, yeah. we're talking about wiping the floor. Right, like, right. So then, like, a, a, like Floyd Mayweather, him, it's still, like, kind fight of a him. stupid announcement, fight but him. that would make more sense. You know it, what I mean? I just think it's dumb because all that happens is just Floyd is smart, though. He keeps himself in the talks because all he does is come out right and he beats Logan. Yep. Then Jake's going to be like, bitch, I'm getting tired of people beating up my brother. Fight Dude, me. Which you're so right, though. Jake, Jake's already, like... Like KSI, and by then, what's and, up? and then by then, Jake will probably have like one or two more fights under his belt too. So then it'll be like a higher profile and, fight. And, and literally, if Jake gets his Conor McGregor fight that he's begging for, right? Then the next what fight you're after saying, that, what is, you're saying, that might happen too. Literally, the next fight after that is Floyd versus Jake. That's I mean, nuts. what else would make more sense? That you're right. Like sense though, like money. Right. Oh well, yeah, not, for sure. not since. And let's be as, honest, that's that's kind of what this is. That's all this is, right? And so Floyd is like, I'll come back and fight you, bro. You you got like six million subscribers on right. YouTube, right? And he'll promote Why? to all of them. I'll just come beat your ass, yep, bro. And I'll still and, make and money. Collapse. I'm already like right. a cajillionaire. Why not give me more money, right? And Flo- like they Duh. both have huge audiences. Like you combine like Jake Duh. or Logan with Floyd Mayweather, like- and and so f- all all that Floyd is looking at right is Mike Tyson and Roy just did like the biggest pay per view that we've seen for like a like a long time, longer than him and Conor. It, it went or him it, and it, it, it almost went more than him and Pacquiao. That's and nuts. that's just an exhibition fight. That's not even a real fight. It's true though. They already said there's gonna be no winner. Right. Their pay per view went just as hard as that. So why wouldn't Floyd say like? Oh wait, they making those numbers? Right. Why can't I just Floyd's come back? Like, I could do exhibition I could throw fights. A couple, like, what are we talking about? I could throw about? a couple bunches of punches against this dude that don't even box like that. Right. He only got a couple years. I got like twenty. Right. I'll fight this dude. How 50 much you want to know? How much money are you gonna pay me? Oh, 15, 20, 30? Oh yeah, sign me up for just his fight. So as soon as I uh, get yeah, sign me up. Bet. Dude, what the fuck? Bet. 
the fuck? He already has millions of dollars just floating around. Like, right. He could literally donate millions to all, like, almost every charity around the world, and he'd still be sitting on hella bread. He'd be chilling. Yeah, it's dumb. So yeah, that, that that's like an easy fight though. I'm like, bro, fight Jake though. Like yeah. Logan, like, what are we doing? Well, I think I think what I think the timeline you you spread out makes a lot of sense. Like he'll fight Logan, right. probably beat Logan, and then and Jake then will like let come out Jake and say fight some somebody shit. and then fight right. him yeah. and just beat his ass. Too. I think it makes I mean, a lot of sense. I don't think neither one of them beat Floyd if we're just talking for real. Yeah, that's just my opinion. No way. I just don't think it's gonna happen. I think the best fight for Floyd is no fight. Just bro, you he already made your money. Chill, just stop yo. fighting people. Like you I don't, think the you don't have to he prove. Keeps spending his money. Well, I think that he spends his money, but bro, he he makes so much. He he won't run out. I've I, heard that. No, I've heard he has though. Uh, how? With what? Um, I who, who was I listening to? I was listening bro. to a podcast, and it was somebody bro. who like who was they were talking about how Floyd Mayweather like ran out of money, and they're like he's made like a billion dollars, and he's like he spent a billion dollars. No. No. They said he's got like a hundred cars. No. Dog, I'm telling you right now. Okay. Floyd is not running out of money. Okay. Like it's it's impossible. Okay. So I get these sources, right? They can say what they want. They could say anything else, bro. Anything else about Floyd. Like he's a bitch. He doesn't fight. He just ducks and then he hit they can say all that. They cannot talk about his money though. Like I I'm telling you right now, no. The, the the dude lives on the Forbes list. Like okay. we're we're not talking about he's wasting his money. Gotcha. I mean he probably does. Don't get me wrong, but he just has so much always pouring in. Right. Like, all right, bro, no, nah. he's um, not, he's not going broke. I did hear back from my mom. He's not going broke, and we will not be watching the Christmas games together. We are doing stuff Christmas morning. Okay. But so I, I so I'll, I'll catch you at night. Well, that's what I was saying. I'll catch so you at night. She said that we would be wrapping up like around two two thirty. Next okay. Celtics is at four. Mavs Lakers at seven. Clips Nugs at nine thirty. So we can maybe catch the Nets Celtics. That's what I was maybe. saying. We could do like Nets Celtics through the evening. Yeah. I might have a bachelor party to go to, so I'll let you know. Shut up, dude. I mean, bro, you hey, never uh, know. Are, are your kids gonna? Be a My kids will all? be with me for Christmas. They should, they can come over. Yeah, well, we can make it we a won't thing. be recording. It'll be cool. So it'll yeah, be we different. won't be recording or anything. Um, yeah, they and, will be um, with me for Christmas this year, which I'm excited about. But because we swap holidays, so Thanksgiving last year they were gone, and uh, I didn't, I didn't, or they were with me, and I didn't have them for Christmas mm-hmm. this year. They were gone. I'm gonna have. Are you? Oh, and you get Christmas off and I got because Christmas they gave off every, this year. Yeah. Oh, dude, that'll be sick. So I got yeah. the whole day off, dude. Yeah, they can come over and then like we can like order food or something. It'd and be It'll be like a thing. That'll, that'll be, be cool. Wrong. I got. I gotta check. I gotta four check, o'clock. I gotta check my memo. All right, that's fine. I'll let you know. All right, four o'clock though. Yeah, I'm not making no plans before beforehand because I don't want to say yes and then be like, sorry, bro, I can't last minute. So okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw that, right, guys? All right. Okay. Anyways, shut up, dude. Um, <laughs> uh, speaking of Tyson, you did yeah. bring him up briefly. Um, mm-hmm. It looks like he's going to fight Evander Holyfield. I think that he's going to fight Briggs before, which is another fight that they're talking about. Okay. I, it sounded like the Holyfield yeah. thing was like a done deal. Like so they were going to do Holyfield it. Holyfield said, like, well, I'll come out and whoop that nigga ass again. Right. <laughs> because <laughs> right, he right. won't bite my ear this time. I'll just beat his ass. But Holyfield... I'm going to be honest. I thought Tyson was old, but Tyson, if you saw him in the ring, ugh. Holyfield does he doesn't look like that, I don't think. I don't I don't know like if, in a bad way. In a bad way. Yeah, I okay. don't know if Evander would be able to really fuck with Mike like that. Shannon Briggs just retired like a couple years ago or like a year ago, but his last like five fights, he has like four knockouts or something with so but he's also 6-4. And the same size as Mike. Oh, we uh, we're so, okay, cool. You know, he's not like a Roy Jones who's like out of shape, six and, feet, like and smaller. Yeah, no, like this dude is jacked just like Mike cool. and knocks people out. We should see that just like Mike. So apparently, Mike and Briggs are trying to work something out where like they'll fight. That's I dope. think that would be a better fight. That shit will not be no. There's no winner. That no, nah, they would be in there like yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking trying to kill each other. And well, that's what people want to see. Briggs is 49. Mike Tyson is 54. Mike Tyson is trying to make a league. Yeah, of like, like old dudes. Older guys. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think it'd be sick, 
But at the same time, I mean, it depends on how many older guys that would really come back and really try to do it. You know what I'm saying? That's the problem. I think if Floyd's running it, I think a bunch of dudes would. So Tyson's trying to run it. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. I'm right. sorry. That's what I meant. Yeah. So this is the problem, though. A lot of people ain't trying to fight Tyson, dog. Well, here's like, the thing. If he makes, it, if he makes it like into a league, though, there's they don't have to fight people. Tyson. They could just fight each other. Right. So if he does that, saying. though, but yeah. he has to get enough fighters right oh, now, sure. right? We only see Mike and Roy. He's going to yeah. have to get, like, Klitschko, Breeze. Dude, how many of those guys, though, do you think saw the Mike Tyson fight? It was like, you know what? Like, let's I fucking take do this, bro. I mean, I'm pretty sure a couple. Yeah. So if if they have another one, I think their best move is to do Briggs and Tyson. Okay. Which could be a backfire because they won't do, like, there's no winner. Yeah, Like, yeah. no headshot. Nah, they'll, they'll be in there trying to, like, boy, I'm about to knock your ass out, boy. <laughs> like, for real. And yeah, Briggs, yeah. Briggs is, like... A huge shit talker. Like he talks. I would love that. Dog. I think that would be. That's that would be like what everyone wanted this time. That would be the sickest fight. For Tyson, if he fought Briggs, that would be raw. Like, I would pay like that. So like the Roy Jones Tyson shit, that shit was fifty dollars. I thought that shit was way too high. But I mean, it was what it was. We got in entertainment, whatever. I think that should have been a little lower, but I would pay like the max for like a Briggs Tyson event. Like a 65? I would pay like the 65 or even the 99, which I paid for Floyd before. Floyd shit was like 99. Floyd Damn. shit was like 100 bucks. Bro. Oh yeah, it was. It was like super uh, expensive. His shit was 100. People were buying it too. People, dog, you want to see it. How much do you think Logan and Floyd will be? Logan and Floyd should be like around 65. Like that so shit should not. So standard Right, that needs to be. Wow. That Now, it's Floyd though. So it's gonna be ninety nine. Like that shit ain't gonna be. That's nuts. But I mean, bro, like but, and money Mayweather, right? Th- this is the thing, bro. Like people don't understand, right? <laughs> when these fighters sign these contracts, they're guaranteed like thirty mil or like forty mil mm-hmm. and all this shit. You have to charge a hundred dollars a fight, bro. Or you're to not gonna up. be able to pay yeah, these motherfuckers, bro. Yeah. Because you need to pay them and also make some money from right, showing right, right. the fight. Yeah, right. So like, you like, can't just break even. You gotta make money. Yeah. And then like you don't also want to dip in your bank, right? No. If you don't make ends meet, and then you gotta dip in your shit as That's a network tough. and then pay a fighter. You Does don't want to do that. Really happen? It, I mean, it, it has. So Bob Arum claims that Terrence Crawford has made him no money, but Terrence Crawford is considered. The best boxer in the world right now. That's but, nuts. But he claims, though, the fights that Terrence has, he doesn't make the money back for it. So he said, the money that I've lost, I could have, like, built a fucking mansion in Beverly Hills by now. Which I think is he's full of shit. And if he keeps talking that way. get paid more? I think so. I think that Bob Aaron needs to shut the fuck up because he has Terrence Crawford. <laughs> and Terrence Crawford will slap the fuck out of him. Like, okay. push him to shove. Okay. I mean, and you know all Bob Aaron's gonna do is just sue him at that point and just and try then to collect so, his money, right? Right. So like Bob Aaron needs to chill out. Like Terrence Crawford is definitely someone that people want to watch, right? So he can't just come out saying like Terrence Crawford ain't made me no money. Like he's actually trash, right? If we look at the rate, not shut up, bro. Okay. Like be quiet. You lucky to even have that nigga. <laughs> That's true though. He's already saying like he wants to leave, right? So you got a decision because he has the belt for yo. Pete for your right. group. Right. So he could take your belt to a whole nother group and then your group ain't gonna become shit. True. Because y'all ain't who you are. Y'all and just then, fight each and, other. And also they the, repu- no belt the over reputation there no more. gets hurt too because then they're it's just gonna known be as the guys who lost it's Terrence Crawford. Be fucked. Right. Like you won't make no money if you keep talking. Right. You the money you are getting right. is cause of Terrence. You don't got nobody else in your shit, bro, that's making you no money. Yeah, be careful asking for more money. You know what I'm saying? Because you might end up making no money. And don't come out after Terrence beats the shit out of the last dude you put him in a fight with like a couple weeks ago or a month ago. Yeah. Beat his ass crazy, which we kind of expected it, but not like that. The one dude that is making you money, you want to say that he ain't making you no money? Okay, so you want him to leave and not make no fucking money? He's like, if I'm already making you no money, then me leaving should be no problem, right? Dude, right. But I'm also about to take this belt, bitch. So now now ain't nobody going to fight none of your fighters. Right. Because ain't none of your fighters worth nothing. He can go fight Errol Spence. He can go fight all these other dudes that are promoted by other companies. Right. So that means you won't be getting nothing, dude. Nope. What? Like, What? Yeah. What fighter do you have to come out and say like and also, like from a business money? perspective, like if he's lost you that much money, why haven't you just cut him? Because he's making you money, right, bitch. Right, that's what I'm saying. Because he's making like, you money, no bitch. You, you just coming out being funny. Because yeah, he's probably doing like that stupid yeah. like he's probably doing that stupid like like agent talk Dude. where like 
contractually he might have technically lost money but then when you talk but about he like make all you money, this bitch. other shit on the he side money, right bitch. like he's making stupid because money. if it wasn't for him you would you wouldn't even be promoting right. nobody right you wouldn't be promoting nobody yeah you wouldn't have no fighters nigga to be promoting like that right right then that's what right. it comes down to so he luckily chance crawford is still loyal to him even after he came on a set that he's like you know look i feel like bob aram's gonna give me this, one of these fights and so i think terrence crawford's best bet is he needs to like try to get the Manny fight? He's not getting Errol Spence. He will not get Errol Spence. Errol Spence is also heavily promoted by yeah, yeah, a yeah. whole nother network that's way bigger, bro. Bob Aram needs to get him the Pacquiao fight. Let Terrence win the other belt or let him lose it. Yeah, yeah, whatever you want to do. Happens. And then let Terrence leave, right? right? And then talk that shit. Right. Or like Terrence gonna walk, bro. Like you don't have no options at this it's point. True. So you can't come out. Saying stuff like that when yeah. the one person who's got you all your money just made you more. <laughs> like, he literally beat the dude up, and then Bob Aram came out and said, well, you know, I've actually lost more money. What? Bruh, shut up. What the hell are you talking right. about? Right, <laughs> You only still have money because of this guy. Right. You, you looking at the wrong perspective, bro. Speaking of that, uh, that, that how you were talking about, like, different promoters and, like, different, like, like contracts and stuff. Uh, Snoop Dogg is actually starting his own pro boxing league, uh, and he's calling it Fight Club. Bro. And it sounds like there's already some legitimate interest in it, which I think is interesting. How do you feel about that? I don't know how to feel about it. I think that shit's going to be more like a bare knuckles or like an actual fight club. Everybody's seen the movie. Have you seen um, Have you seen uh, Rough and Rowdy? Rough and Rowdy, no. Okay, but. so Rough, Rough and Rowdy is this like... This, like let me look that up. Backcountry right type uh, show. It's hosted by Barstool, Barstool Sports. They they host R- Rough and Rowdy. Um, Pat McAfee and Bill Burr, they called one of the events. R&R. And, um, so I didn't know it was Rough and Rowdy, but yeah. I have seen R&R before. Okay, yeah, so it's but, Rough and Rowdy, and basically yeah. like the premise of it mm-hmm. is like whoever you are, like, matter. if you got beef with somebody, you can call them out, and y'all can go fight at Rough Come and Rowdy. It. And then, like, I think there are, like, cash winnings and stuff, but, right. like, it's not, like, anything crazy, crazy. But, but, but like, it's, you got, you, there's, like, no yeah. weight classes. Like, yeah. you call out, like, whoever you want to fight, and matter. y'all just fight, and that's yep. it. Yep. And um, they have, like, some of the most, like, insanely, like... Well, I mean, it's smart. Yeah. It's well, smart. It's, it's very popular, it's and smart. it's very much kind of like that, you, you, like... Because, so, the thing is, right... Kind of hillbilly back country Snoop kind has of fighting so, situation he has so much money right to where even when he first makes it there'll just be scrubs fighting right and he won't he'll lose money but not yeah, really not and really. then big names will be like i'll go fight on your shit right and then right he's just gonna start making that's what money. i think is gonna happen yeah. and, and like snoop dogg yeah. like he's probably gonna be straight Dog. with everybody too so like he probably Dog. could get some big names and be like look bro like bro. i'm not trying to play nobody i just want to see good fights bro. like if y'all want to come fuck with us in the fight club like Come ever, be about ever it. since Tyson fight, people have been on him about like he needs to be on commentary for all boxing fights. Like dog, I would tell you right now, bro. He do it too, dog. He likes it. The shit that he would say, bro. Like, it. it I don't think it would ever get oh boring. My either. God, bro. It. I never get tired of it. It was crazy. I'd be like, oh, this is great, dude. At a point in time, he was going from like, oh no, he in the hood. He'd be like. Ooh, shit. Like, bro, he was, like, yep. legitly high. Yeah. Like, just <laughs> yeah. commenting, though. Like, dog, when they got knocked out, did, he started singing, like, a funeral hymn yeah. mm-hmm. for black people. Yeah. Right? I, I mean, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure that people now have the basis of what he was singing now that it's been this late. But only black people knew what the fuck he was singing during the fight. Like, That's he started funny. singing, like, a funeral song. A funeral song. Uh-huh. Like, when they're in the casket funeral song bro yeah and i was like oh my bro he he was like the greatest boxing commentary i've ever seen i agree i will be honest i agree um more because he was just funny and just yep. loose with it he wasn't like and the cool thing the cool thing too scripted. is that like snoop Dogg, i bet he could get like some like other really entertaining Dude. people to call fights yes and it could be yes. like more of like an entertainment Dude. product than anything i was mad that they had Israel Adesanya on there. I was a little salty about that. Yeah. I was a little salty about that. Only because I'm like, you're in the you're you're in the light heavyweight. I get it, bro. You're kind of running through some shit, but like, 
you're you're kind of fighting people, but like until you fight John Jones, unless John Jones is really gonna take his ass to heavyweight, yeah, and then we can just shut this all down, right? Then all right, but like Israel, like you're cold, bro. You are very good, but you're literally just doing exactly what we saw John Jones do for years, right? On a drug habit, getting his belt taken away, and you're just that. coming it's back and though. winning it back, yep. and yep, like you're not really impressing me just yet, only because I got to watch John Jones for so long, like. Fight John, and I don't know if John is going to, like, fight you in the light heavyweight or he's going to let you run that and say, come meet me in heavyweight. Because now he's talking about, I just I should just go to heavyweight and smash these yep. dudes. I don't feel like that's a an issue. I don't feel like he would go to heavyweight and lose necessarily. No, I think he'd I, go there and win. And smash him the same way. So yep. do we want to see? The risk would be higher, though. So what I'm saying is I think before all that starts to happen, John Jones, look, just – before you move to heavyweight, fight Israel in light heavyweight because he's running your shit right now. You gave up the belt, but you gave it up, and he is, like, running the shit yep. out of it like you did. That would be sick if he just, like, beat Adesanya just and then come just back. went to heavyweight like so, it was right, nothing. Don't, like, don't even make it a belt fight. Right. Let him keep his like, belt. Just beat his ass. Just come back and just fight him. Just to prove it. And just whoop him and say, bro, I told you, bro, I could whoop your I fucking ass, that. little bitch. You're like, keep the belt. That's, and then, that's like, and the most then disrespect you could do. A lot of people are like... I want to see Israel fight him in heavyweight in this. And I'm like, Israel is too little of a he guy to go it. to heavyweight, yeah, bro. Like, happen. Israel, I don't think. I mean, so, he might do it, but I don't think he should. Like, so I, th- I, think, I think weight is a good component, but, like, I feel like height makes a difference when well, you get to your heavyweight, Well, because your height contributes dude. to your wingspan, too. You know what Unless, I'm saying? Unless, like, you're a genetic freak. Like, I, I just, to me, Adesanya, I feel like he has a good game, but, like, in heavyweight, bro, like. It's different. These dudes aren't don't just weigh more than you. They're, like, Taller than you, right. and like huge. you're gonna get fucking smashed, bro. Right. Like it's not. Well, it's the got same. like strong man. It's like not, a lot, like you don't see short guys do strong man. Like they just right. It's or, or, or their genetics or do, are just different. Or if you do, they win the event right. or some shit. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're on just some different right. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's very rare. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? To yeah. see like I, I I don't think Israel Adesanya in heavyweight would make any sense at all. Like John Jones has to fight him in light heavyweight. Leave it there. If you lose, rematch them. People sure. will still pay for right. oh, it. Oh, yeah, for sure. If you win, rematch them for the belt if right. you want Why to. Why not? People will still pay for it. Right. But if you want to go to heavyweight, you're still going to have to vacate the belt anyway. Right. So do you just so win So why it? not? So fuck it. Win it and vacate it back to them and money. say, let me take it and you a bitch. I'll just vacate it back and right. you can fight somebody else yeah. for it, ho. That'd be great. And if you want to fight me again, meet me in heavyweight. Ooh. I think that's the best move. That'd be great. I'd I love mean, that. It's, it's hella money. UFC already makes hella money. Yeah. But I think Dana needs to be like, Let's make this fight happen in light heavyweight yes. for not the belt because John Jones, you kind of fuck around so much. Right. You don't really deserve a title fight right. at this point. So beat his ass. Make it an exhibition. Then out of sign, you'll probably be like, you got me fucked up. So let's run it again for the belt. And then from there, let's make our decision. Yep. Right. I think that would, oh. I would love that. I think that would be the coldest USC fight I've ever watched. And I've watched Liddell and Tito like tons of times. Uh-huh. I've watched Rampage versus John. I've watched some. Some pretty okay fights sure, yeah, that yeah, yeah. should live up. Uh-huh. I think that would be hands down the best fight that I've ever watched if I see both of them in lightweight. Okay. Right now. All right. That would be sick as fuck to me. You That'd got me crazy. hyped up already. That would be crazy, bro. I would pick John Jones still, but like it's not a guarantee. Okay. At all. Cool. But like you said, you felt like the other dude beat him, but like his yeah, leg the dude was messed up. Knee, he won that fight. Oh, well, it was a split decision too. John's just smart. Let me tear your fucking knee up. No, no, no. He tore. He broke his own. Uh, knee. Right. He Doing tore his what? own shit. Doing up. what? Trying to be extreme. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I mean, trying to do so much because it's John Jones. Yeah, you tore your knee. Oh, now it's over with, sir. Yeah. Okay. That's why John Jones is considered the baddest motherfucker. But right. I mean, that's just what it is. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's yeah. uh, let's go to the NFL. Speaking of uh, guys coming back and guys with drug problems, Josh Gordon just got reinstated to the NFL. I don't. They should have never. I don't know what took him so long. This is what I'm mad about. Y'all didn't let this guy beast mode for year on end yep. because he liked weed. It's true, though. If it was fucking coke with a needle or like or, or, or ice or, you know, like a strong drug, like I get it. But weed, dude, weed. It's really stupid. Weed. Like, y'all are literally shitting on this whole guy's career. Yeah, like his prime. Because this dude probably would have been the 
probably one of the best. We're if talking not, like Hall of Fame. We're talking about one of, if not the best, wide receiver we've ever seen. Maybe. If y'all wouldn't have suspended this dude yep. for a fucking blunt. A blunt? I mean, it was really? a lot of blunts, but, but you get the, it. But come on. It's stupid. We've already talked about this. The physical toll. Yep. That does... Come on, bro. We don't need to. Do, it's that's a dead conversation. We don't. We don't even need so, to go like, into it. What are we it, doing? But, like, and so the fact that he's that coming back, the, he's uh, eligible for the last two regular season games. That's why and I hate the, the playoffs, league, bro. That's why I hate the league. And bro. he's back with the Seattle Seahawks. That's why I hate the league, bro. So, so you have to let him play in the fucking playoffs, dog. No, he will play. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna have to. Yeah, yeah. Just, so he, so Josh Gordon will be going to the playoffs with the Seahawks. Yeah, because they're gonna go. Oh well, yeah, at this point, I think they have like they have like a like a ninety five percent chance of making it or some shit. Uh, the Look, only man. the only NFC team in right now is the Saints. Uh, the Packers are number two seed right now. Oh my god! They have over a ninety nine percent chance of making the playoffs. The Saints. <laughs> as much as I, I'm I'm not scared to play them next week, right? Because we don't have nobody, but. Mm-hmm. There's a real chance the Packers could get the first seed by the end of the year. This is what I was trying to tell you. Because the people. Saints play the Chiefs in Week 17. I get it that Drew Brees looked like he was running that team, but the team ran Drew Brees. Uh, well, so well, it's just, Sean Payton. He's just fitting to it. It's Sean Payton. It's like now that Drew Brees is hurt, why do they still look just as good? They're still crushing teams. It's Sean Payton. It was never I Drew Brees, I mean, no Brees, disrespect to bro. Drew Brees. Like, he's still a great quarterback. I already told you what this is going to make him look like. Because all people are going to think about is, oh, you were never really that great. And on top of that, you were talking shit? Bitch, when we had your back the whole time? Yikes. Retire, bitch. Yep. He's going to retire. He doesn't have a choice now. Well, he broke 11. He had 11 fractures in his ribs and a punctured lung. Like 11 fractures? Yeah. How does that happen? Well, some, he by, got hit. Oh, oh, you're saying like his line probably. Bro, well, we had that shit. this Yeah, we did. Yeah, we were talking about Before the it. season started. Yeah. I said Drew is going to get hurt this season. Like, yep. there's no way. Like, when you say that kind of shit, yeah. people invested time with you for years. Yep. And when you say that, oh, you jeopardized everything. All that. Yep. And now even if you come back and say, I'm sorry. How shit would it be if the Saints did win this year? Like. Without him. Right. After the heartbreaks, Without he's already. Su- dude. That's his he'd fucking still, fault, He'd still dude. get a ring, but that ring would almost be, like, it's insulting. His fault, dude. It's yeah. his fucking fault, dude. Yeah, I agree. Like, you you can't live where you live and do all that for all those years no just way. to say that. Yep. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? I agree. And I already told you, hmm, oh, let me let this guy by. All Yikes. Right. And now look at him. Oh, uh, my bad. Oh, <laughs> uh, my looking, bad. Looking like Tyrod Taylor now. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> you're right. Without a doctor. Ooh. Holy shit. Oh, a doctor did it? No, a lineman did that. Yikes. How much painful is that? Yeah. Compared to a boy. Come on, man. We caught this a long we time did. ago. We did, bro. actually. We yeah. said this was going to happen. He was going to get hurt because yep. they're not going to block for him the whole fucking time. Or maybe not try as hard. Maybe, maybe. they are right. I don't want to I don't want to discredit. Who knows? But I'm just saying. Maybe, Very interesting. Or maybe this is karma, which we also talk about that, too. Karma hits really fucking hard. Karma's real, bro. You got to be careful with your, what the fuck you say. Oh, thinking yeah. you're the shit and you. <laughs> Big time. Don't look like you're the shit no more. No Taste, way. He looks like he's the shit. A little bit. He got he got what what they nine and three nine and two, they they up there two. too. They're ten and two. Oh, they oh because they won right. Yeah, they're ten and two. And Taysom looks delicious. He's looking. He's he throwing looks delicious. Tutties. He's running tutties. He's throwing tutties. Like oh, y'all thought Jameis was coming in? No, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Yikes. <laughs> no. Yeah. We got a scrambling throwing quarterback. Yep. That is <laughs> we thought was better than Drew, but we had to leave him in until yep. he made them fucking it's comments. True, though. And uh, I don't know what we can do for you, Breeze. We'll, yep. we'll, we'll pay you out. Go ahead and retire, bro. We, we'll hang your jersey up. But that's it, boy. You done. Drew is done. Which sucks. It you, sucks you that it had to end, to end this that way. way. Yeah. His comments ended it, though. Yep. I told you. I, we talked about this. We uh, did, man. Drew, much love, bro. If, if you listen to this, which I know you're not. but We'll see him in the booth next year. All right, that's your best we'll bet, him. boy. He'll be calling Sunday Get night football. Get up there with Tony. Get up there with Tony. And I don't, no, he'll oh, be calling Sunday oh night. Oh my gosh, bro! Can you imagine him and Tony on the same? Oh, that would be really cool. Oh my gosh, like that them would both be both calling plays ahead of time nasty, and like dog. them like just reminiscing that in quarterback. That would be nasty, like, bro. That would be cool. If I never were able to get both of them, 
Oh, it'd be over. Well, with. everyone is still waiting oh, for Peyton Manning with. to come back. Like, because I don't think Peyton's gonna do that. I don't think so either. Peyton's more on. He doesn't I'm need with the money. My family. I don't even need y'all. Yep. I'm doing commercials for fucking insurance and shit. I think he's like. He's I'll just not, go watch my brother. Oh yeah. Well, Eli's out too. Dude. So yeah. But, who I mean, cares? but even then, he's not. He, like I feel like Romo's career went through so many injuries. Like he kind of needed it. Like he kind of like needed to stay to get in the, the game. Booth, you know. Uh, almost like Witten, like Witten kind of needs to get in the booth or play a tight end for somebody. Mm-hmm. Like Peyton, by far, has, like he won two Super Bowls, first quarterback n- to win one for two separate teams. He has no won intent. Won one and then retired. Like he has, n- and if we're gonna be real with the Broncos, he was like a fucking disabled on a walker. Yeah, like they carried him to on the a Super motor Bowl. scooter. Yep. And he still fucking won. Yep. So he has. He doesn't have to do anything else. He nope. can fucking chill. Yeah. Like. All day. It would be cool like, if, like, after he was retired for a while, though, like, he started to get that itch back and then did come back. It, I think that's so... Even if it was just, like, like on, like, Good Morning Football or, like, you know, part right. like... But I think even if it was on a show or something, I still think it'd be really cool. It's better for him to do it, like, 10 or 15 years later. Not do like Romo did. Yeah. Or, like, how Drew Brees will have to do, like... Well, he's already been out of the league it. for, like... Right, like five years now or something. Give it like, like five more, yeah. then bounce back. Like That'd be right cool. now, I mean, it'd be cool seeing Peyton talking. But it'd be we, really we cool. We would be like, Peyton, bro, what are you doing, bro? Go chill with your family, dude. They should get him on the show you with know, Randy Moss on Fox. Right, just like I, him I, and Randy Moss together. They should do more like a maybe like a segment. Not like not have him on like a Michael Strahan or like like just let him come do a segment and, yeah. and bounce off. Like he he don't need that shit. I mean, and if he did, right, we would already be seeing him. On, on any network, any network would pay they him to come him. on. Anyone. They all want him. The fact that he's not on one just lets you know. like, Yeah, he doesn't want to. Well, that's what I'm saying. He doesn't want he, to right now, but like, it would be cool if he changed his I mind. I said like 10, yeah, 15. Like, cool. well, so we'd say 5 to 10 years from sure. now, right? Not, yeah. five, not 10 to 15 because yeah, yeah, yeah. already done five. Like another five years, hop on, That'd bro. That'd be really cool. It'd be nutty. I'd love it. It'd be nutty. Um. So we already not, we already told you guys that Washington beat the the, the, uh, the, the Steelers. Bro, I'm 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 a little salty about that. Ben is still my guy. They had to lose a game, right? Though they I had mean, to lose eventually. They they wasn't gonna go nope. undefeated. Like I mean, it really kind of looked like they could I though. Mean, but, but and come and to on. lose to lose to Washington though, like that's rough. Now we've been hyping up Alex Smith this whole time, so I do feel like pretty good the about one that. Team they if I'm being honest, yeah. Because I we but, already said when Alex comes back from injury. Washington won't look trash. And so the only thing is they just got to get their chemistry together. And now maybe it's too late this year because they waited too late. Yeah, but they're still tied for the lead in the division right now. So, like, if Washington drops the game and, and let's go. be real, I mean, Colt Come McCoy, on, they got that win. So that's part. Okay, so, like, I was talking about upset weekend. Oh, man. The Giants beat oh, the man. Seattle Seahawks, which is insane. But let's be real. It is still Colt McCoy, so they could still drop a game. And the and Jets, the and Jets, Seattle chilling. Like Seattle, don't. I mean, they kind of. No, no, no. Care, we're talking. But... We're talking seeding though, because since Seattle lost and the Rams won, the Rams have the tiebreaker over the Seahawks. So instead of being the two seed, they dropped to the five seed. So they're they're gonna make the playoffs th- no matter I what. I think Seattle's okay with that. They're gonna. I don't think they care. I think they, they're, right. they're gonna make the playoffs no matter what. They just got Josh Gordon. Like, Back. like, fuck Which it. they already knew that was going to happen. Probably. So, which is why they were chilling. Yep, like, probably. let's just chill. We'll yep. drop. Yep. And we'll play like a shitty ass team cool. and just crush them. And then we'll play another good team and then crush them because Josh would have had some practice and a game. Yep. Oh, well, several God. games. By that point, it'll be like three games bro, in the like, bag. So long bro, enough to get back into rhythm, on, probably. You got to tell me that teams don't think. You can't tell me teams don't think about this shit. Like, we're just <sighs> random dudes think about this. You can't tell yeah, me. No way. Seattle's about to like. Yeah. What? So what? Yeah, uh, the Jets should have beaten the Raiders this week. Um, the Raiders they on the on the last play of the game, uh, Greg Williams sent eight. He sent an all out rush, which left like everyone on an island, um, like to defend the end zone. And Jalen Rager, oh no 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 Henry Ruggs Henry Ruggs he he had a he he made a cut move and. Got past him, got the touchdown. The rest is history. That's just goofy. That's just goofy. Well, so goofy that That's they fired goofy. Greg Williams. Well, you have to. You have to. Bro, I would have zoned the fuck out of that little bit of yardage everywhere. We're gonna make them have to like try to run this shit. Put on the us. whole team at like the ten yard line. Like, what are we doing? Us. Like, Good why luck. would you rush? Everyone? Zone it. Like in that little ass space. Where they're gonna throw if you zone it? 
Yeah, it was so stupid. Oh my um, gosh. Bro. The thing I find interesting though is like they fired Damn. Greg Williams, right? Why is he the first person to get fired on a winless team? I think he should be. Well, I agree, but like why is Adam Gay still the head coach? Like what what are we doing here? Well, I why mean, is Greg Williams? Why did that? Why did that move get Greg fired? So Greg predominantly works what part of the team? Well, I get it, right? Yeah, but so so this is what I feel like. I feel like we do give a lot of head coaches like bullshit because they can call the last play, but not on defense. They almost never call. I mean, like a, Mike Zimmer does. Saying. Like Mike that's Zimmer calls the defense, but like that's a not a lot very of common. coaches let their coordinator their coordinators. Just call it. Yeah, but this. But like, what I'm getting at though is like Adam Gase is still 0 and 12. Right, but come on, Skip. Who, who? But who's to say it's his fault though? If he's not calling the plays, I th- well, he was for a while, and then he relinquished play calling. Like, and now it's they said they said play calling is a quote unquote collaborative effort. So, whatever the fuck I, that so means. So I'm gonna be honest. I think a collaborative effort comes down to like the end of the day plays. So like the reason why I won't respect Pete Carroll, right? Because you have an offensive coordinator. If they said, we're going to throw the ball, Pete Carroll should have been like, no, no, motherfucker, we're running this right. shit with Marshawn. We're on like the two. Right. He's killed in this whole game. There's no way they're going to stop this guy even four times in a row. Yeah. We're going to run first, second, third, and fourth down and then if to lose, Marshawn. All right. Then I'll take that. That's fine. But so that's the shit I don't like. I feel like in certain situations, they just let their coordinators run too much and yeah. don't say nothing. So me as a head coach, if I had a coordinator, right, offensive and defensive, I would let them call plays. But after a while, I'd be like, okay, that shit is not working. What do you have for me? Right. And give me something good or else I'm calling this shit the rest of the game and right. you sit right here next to me. Period. That, I like Period. that. Period. Yeah. And honestly, I also hate that y'all let motherfuckers call the plays from up there. I like that. I hate that. Well, no. They, I hate that, that. The coordinator gets to choose, though. And they're all on the mics. They can so all talk to that, each other. That, that's what I... But sometimes I'm like, you're not down here, dude. So, like, I get it. We can start the game off. Like, so at least the first or second quarter, bro, I will let my coordinators in the booth. Y'all call whatever y'all want. If I'm a head coach, though, if we're losing or whatever y'all are calling isn't fucking working, but you keep calling it, right. I'm I'm switching it. And if you don't like me as your head coach, then you fire me or do whatever the fuck. Right, right, right. But you're not, I'm not just going to be like, okay, yeah, keep going. Okay. F- fuck that. All right. And I feel like that's what happens more than often. And that's why a lot of these teams, right, when we start looking at why coaches don't get fired or why coordinators don't get fired, it's because they're not really calling all these fucking plays. They're being told to call them, and then they get burner beat, and it's the motherfucker that's upstairs calling it. Yeah. But ain't nobody going to say that. Okay. They're not going to go in the interview and be like, yeah, the, the fucking booth was ass <laughs> today. Yeah. Like, they're going to just say, you know, we just got to get a little it's better. It's team effort. You know, it's a team. It's a, man, bullshit. Yeah. Bullshit. I get it. Yeah, but bullshit. the moment you start talking like that, though, the team, then like, they, they, they're going to like you anyway. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, the players will like you, though, because Ish. the players will know. Ish. And Ish. Ish. I think I think no matter what, the players know. So, look, I'll, I'll put it to you this way. You think Bill... Has just listened to every fucking call that came up from up there. Fuck Offensive, no. Offensively, yes. with him and Brady, you think him and Brady together, right? Which a lot of people don't really talk about, which is why I think that they were the greatest together. I feel like Bill and Brady caught their own shit all the time, ish during the game, ish. Of course, ish because you let them well, start off have, doing it. You have uh, Mike McDaniel's. Like, if anything, Bro. at least the offensive coordinator will make a game plan. So like right. even even if you're calling no. your own plays, you're calling plays from the game plan. You see what I'm saying? I just feel like there are certain coaches and quarterbacks that you have to let go out and do their own fucking thing. Right. Which is why I feel like Green Bay should have more championships. They don't. Russell Wilson should have way more fucking championships. He doesn't. Ben should maybe have a couple more. He doesn't. Like it's too much listening to other fucking people. Like y'all are on the field. Y'all know what the fuck is going on. True that. When you come back and talk to me as a quarterback to a coach, we're both seeing the same shit, right? Right. But then if they call something else upstairs, then it's like, ah, shit, run that um power. Like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Fuck upstairs. They're just going to have to either fire one of us and move us around, or maybe we'll just be good enough and do our own thing yeah. that nobody has to get moved around. And so I, that's why I feel like Brady was done with that Speaking bullshit. of getting fired, ever since Dan Quinn got fired in Atlanta, Atlanta's actually looked... Really good, monstrous. Really, like 
I, but I don't. I haven't checked hold the on. statistics. Hold on. But they might have the best defense since Dan Quinn got fired. Hold on. This is and the they should have won this week. This is the only problem I have with that. They fired him right, and they look really good. But Atlanta was already putting up forty points like a game anyway. It's been the defense though that's been it, showing. That's what up. I'm saying. So. Uh, like what are we really talking about? If anything, their offense about? has looked a little kind of sluggish. If I'm being right. honest, right? Their offense has been fire. Honestly, this whole year they average over thirty easily. So I mean, it's it's up to the defense. So I, I, again, when we talk about these conversations, right? That's why I get mad. Like we can't look at like the head coach because if the head coach trusts his his coordinators. Then he's letting his coordinators run. Well, the thing that's interesting like, about the Dan Quinn situation is he was like a defensive minded coach. So, like, if you have a defensive minded head coach, you're supposed to have a good defense. That's kind of like I, the way it works. I don't know, man. I, I, I'm just, I'm just making an observation. No, um, and, I, I and, think, and they almost upset who they. I don't even know who they played this week, but so I, I'll be honest. I felt like their coach was trash, but I felt like that coach had the best vibe with that group. So they needed to like change maybe the coordinator. Not the head coach, in my personal opinion. You might be right. And my that's my personal opinion. That's my personal opinion. Like it's almost kind of like a Matt Patricia, right? He could be a good coach, but like for the Lions, mm, I don't know because they they have their own separate parts. They do a bunch of shit. Yeah, they play the Saints, by the way. That maybe you don't agree with. They should have beaten the Saints. You you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's just it's a lot of shit that goes on within all of that, and uh-huh. I'm like I I. A lot of the times I want to say, like, it's the players or it's the coach. Or, but I, I don't blame it on anybody other than the people in the booth unless the booth people are telling y'all y'all can do whatever y'all want. Right. And I think the teams that win are the teams that have the most free or, or realm kind of like what, to what, go out and what, do whatever what the fuck What Adam Gase said, like, it being a collaborative effort. Like, right. we're all going to so like, be a part of it. So, like, we, so we can't tell Aaron Rodgers, right, we run this play, no audible. Yeah, that doesn't happen. And then Aaron <laughs> runs out. No, he goes out right, and he looks at the shit, and he's yeah. Just like, well, no, I don't remember. I don't remember where it came out. Like, I think Aaron what, Rodgers dude? did like an interview or something. He said for every single play that's called, there's two plays available. So like right. for every call they have, there's two. Well, right. this is at least under Matt LaFleur. I don't. Option. I don't think this is what they did under Mike McCarthy. Well, but well, uh, every no, play that's didn't. called, like there's two plays. So like like Matt Lafleur will make a call, and then Aaron gets to pick which call he wants. So it's kind of like we're telling you what you got to do, but you also kind of get to pick. Like it, but, you read the defense and you decide what you want to do. The most fucked up thing I think about that is is just call a play and let the quarterback determine what play is best mm-hmm. because that second play you have may not be the best play. And so that's why I think Peyton. This is what I think happens. That's why I think Peyton ran that last Super Bowl stint well, in Denver. Not everyone. They, they is, said not, just go out and call thing, what though. you want. Not everyone is Peyton. That's Aaron why. is. Well, yes. Aaron is. Well, then, and that's Aaron kinda, is. That was going to be my next point. Yeah. This is what I think Aaron does. Shit. Fuck that. I think, I think what Aaron does is like he goes off the two-play policy. I think I've actually said this in the show before. But like he's got his calls. So like him and Devontae, like they got something where like, hey, man, like if Look, I tell you this, run this route. If I tell this, you bro. this, run this route. Just do this, bro. Right. All right. So like he'll go with the second play, but he'll be like, "Hey Devontae, like don't worry about that. Do this. I need you to do this." Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that's exactly what happens. And and but I so, think he has that with all of his receivers. Like whoever whoever the guy is that he wants to like pick the defense apart with, right. he's gonna be like, "Bet MVS, well, I need you to run a fly. So, like go." You this know is what why I, mean? I get mad. Think about this though. Just think about this in hindsight, right? Uh huh. And I'm not a Green Bay Packers fucking fan, right? Because I like the Eagles. Yeah. So y'all can suck some cheese. Okay. Okay? All right. <laughs> get that? Yeah, I, I get it. If they said, Aaron, we'll call, we're going to call like the first 10 plays of the game. You can call the rest of the game after that. Whatever play you think we should do. After the first 10 that we call. How do you think your record would look like? I don't know. It's hard to say. In in what in, in what regard is it hard to say? Because do, do you really think Aaron will pick bad play after bad play after bad play after no, bad play? No, I think that's a lot to do on the field. I think having a play called prior is good to go off of, and then Aaron like the audible makes sense. Dude, we're talking about Aaron being <laughs> technically like one of the, if not the best quarterback we've ever seen in the league. Mm-hmm. How is that too much for him? It's not. It's not. And so this is why we, 
This is why I say, look, uh-huh. these guys make all this money, and they're good for a reason. Right. So, like, Aaron, Russell, Drew, like, uh, Tannehill, like, these players get free reign. Like, if I was a coach, you get free reign because y'all are seeing the fucking defenses when you go out there. Right. I'm just coaching from the side. We can kind of see some shit, but you're seeing it up front. Mm-hmm. What do you think we should do? And I don't feel like coaches do that with their players. They I'll just tell say, you, I will tell you, you know, one thing. Like you, you do kind of make a good point. Fuck because, yeah, I do. Um, when I went to the, the to the Houston game, yes. uh, where the Packers whooped that ass. Um, <laughs> so so where I was sitting was really cool because like I was like in one of the end zones, but I was like dead center. Right. So I actually got to see like the full spread right. of like the the defense and the offense. Yeah. And it felt cool. It was really cool because like. Watching it on TV, you see it from the side, so it's like different. it's kind of harder to understand. But, but like you if you see, see it head like, on, you can see like dude, the... you can see everything, bro. That's dude, what I'm saying. I was saying able to call everything before, before it happened. happened. Yeah, like when I was seeing it head on, I was like, bro, like bro. I already know what they're gonna do. Like, so yeah, if, if you can do that, right? I mean, Think I'm not about... gonna say I was like perfect, no, but like so, you know, so seeing I, I it though, I was like, I see exactly what they're doing. Think about what Aaron can do. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Let your quarterbacks just go out there and fucking call a play. If they want to audible and do something, let your quarterbacks go out and fucking win the game. Literally, dude. Some of them. Literally. Not all of them. Not. Yeah. Like, so don't I, let Baker. I said Aaron. <laughs> yeah, 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 right. Russell. Right. Ben. Yeah. Like, big boys. Big boys. Let them go out there and just win the fucking game. I agree. And I feel like half of them, right? Go out and do that anyway. And then that's when you hear coaches and players are. Yep. And that's why you saw fucking. Big boy get his ass in Dallas now yep. because he wasn't – he. And what look, are they doing now? Aaron was like, let me tell you something, bro. You call him whack-ass play after whack-ass play, and I know you listening to him, but I'm going to call what the fuck I want to on this field. Right. And I Well, Mike McCarthy used to actually call the plays. And I guarantee that's – y'all won the Super Bowl off of Aaron, not off of McCarthy. I'm inclined to agree with you. I'm pretty and sure. And our defense that I'm year was also sure. like insane. Our defense no. was like top 10 that year too. So I, like I feel nuts. like Aaron is like taking a role like Matt – you got my back. So, you know, if you call some, I'll run it, man. But after it's over with, I'll come back to you. Right. When well, we they do it out, that. And I will well, tell Aaron you, Rogers like. Aaron has actually come to the side that a couple times and been like, what the that. fuck are we doing? And, then, and yeah. then Matt's like, all right, like. My you know, bad. Right. That was my bad. Well, but but I, I have I'm seen saying. it go both ways, though. But, like, Matt LaFleur doesn't no. get as vocal as Aaron. But, like. Well, I mean, I, can, I, can you, though? <laughs> can you? No. Aaron's a fucking goat, bitch. You're not a you're not a fucking goat in coaching. But it, but it seems the like fuck? it seems like the chemistry between the two of them, like they're it's willing to accept. Now. Well, they're willing to accept criticism for one another. That like, first year it, too, it looked a little rocky. I thought it was fine. Everyone I, else no, said that no, they thought bullshit. it was whack, but it was fucking whack, dude. Be honest. And, and, I didn't and, see a lot and, that that made me worried. I'm and it's you, my team. All I'm telling you what it is is Aaron was like, "Dog, you're calling some bullshit, dog." Right. And I don't want to fucking run that. Okay. So <laughs> you're either gonna get with my program, right, or I mean, <laughs> Green Bay is my team, nigga. Right. You came to me. True that. I, they're not going to give me up before no, you. No, they won't. So which one do you want to do, man? Right. You're going to kind of get with my shit, and then we can have some conversations here and there on them third third and outs, or are you going to, what the fuck we going to do? Right. So that first year, right, looked flawless. Because I'm pretty sure Matt just came in that bitch like, Aaron, run it. And then Matt was like, well, let's do this, let's do that, let's do this, let's do that. Then they ended up coming a little short now, and then Aaron was like, look, bro. Let me do what the fuck I do. I win. Yep. Which literally he does. Don't call nothing for I Aaron. Think, I'm gonna Let say Aaron this. Run I think it goes shit. both ways because since Matt Lafleur showed up, dude, like in the two years he's been head coaching so far, they've legit only lost six games. I, but I also think it's because in Matt, two years. Matt literally is like, you know what, Aaron, just do what you do, do your thing. And I think the problem with you Fat right. Boy that went to Dallas, he was like. No. no, you're going to do what I say. Yep. You're not going to do what you want to do. You're going to do what I say. Well, get your fat ass from up from around <laughs> here, nigga, and go to another losing ass team. True because that. you got us losing. True that. And now y'all ain't losing. Okay. Y'all got Matt. Matt came in, new new head coach. Right. And then y'all win all these fucking games. I wonder why. Because mm-hmm. Aaron said, look, bro, just sit back, learn your role, and I'll win these games for us. And just see how I like to play. Right. And then let's work on what you think I could be better at. If you tell me something stupid, I'm not listening to you. <laughs> I'll, but I will let you know how you can be better at coaching my team. Sure. Because it's my team at this point. Aaron's a fucking coach. Not Matt. I mean, I, I get it, right? Matt's on the side. He gets the plays. He calls them. 
Aaron runs that team, bro. It's like Russell with Seahawks. Like, they run that team. It's like Ben with the Steelers, right? Mike's there, but Mike, like, those kind of guys are voiceless, but your quarterback runs those teams, and that's why they're successful. You got to let your quarterback be right. the quarterback they are. Yeah, I yeah. mean, if you hold them back, what the fuck are you going to do? I feel that. Yeah. Um, last for the potential upsets, the Jags also should have beaten the Vikings. Vikings really got fucking lucky, if I'm being honest. So the Vikings and the Oakland and the uh, Vegas Raiders have both kind of like lost my respect because they both should have lost. And I'm not gonna say anything about the Saints because they played the Falcons and like divisional games are always tight. Like no matter how bad one team is or the other, but I will say that the Falcons look noticeably better and their future could be interesting. I, I, you know what's. I'm going to tell you right now, the Falcons look the same that they have this whole okay. year to me. I disagree, but okay. I mean, maybe defense got a little better. That's what I'm saying. Their, their defense has improved significantly. Their offense has been the same. So, Well, uh, I feel like their offense has regressed a little bit, which is why how? they, that's they, why they average, did it. They scored 16 against the Saints. They, But other than that, they average like their average is crazy. They They score a lot of points on a lot of teams. I, I don't feel like replacing the head coach just made their defense better. Their defense just wasn't fucking doing shit. I mean, their offense, though, was fire the whole year. We were seeing them drop 30, 40 on every team. Well, they scored nine against the Saints last time they played. They scored 16 this time. And a lot no, of their games have been high. They, they, they score only a scored, lot, dude. They only scored 16 against the Packers. They only... Scored. Against your team. Yeah. I mean, but, but I mean, I'm okay. just looking at the record, though. Right, and they only scored 16 against the Panthers. But the rest of their games are pretty high. They're high, dude. They, yeah. they score a lot of points. So I don't know if, like, replacing the coach just, oh, you know, your defense wants to show up. Your offense has been Well, there. I believe they promoted their defensive coordinator to head coach. So I think that might be part I of mean, it. I mean, maybe that can make sense. I think but, it is. I mean, yeah. this is my only problem I have in Atlanta, right? We mm-hmm. can say, like, getting rid of the head coach, right? Because he was just trash. Right, and right, the right. defense wasn't doing anything. Uh huh. Atlanta, not only were they scoring that much, they had the leads for majority of the well, fucking yeah, well, game. Well, yeah, we, they had some of like, so, the most historic losses of all time at the beginning of the year. So it's, it's almost like, so you're telling me firing the head coach or defense just got that better? Or, I, I mean, I've told, dude, you underplay how important I the head do coach underplay position that, is. Dude, and, like, because I, I don't feel like. I really don't think it's as. Well, it's significant as, what I feel as like. you pe- lead people on. Everybody has to hold themselves accountable to themselves. You can't be blaming somebody for some shit that it's your job to do. The head coach, if, if y'all are winning by margin, it's it, it's not the head coach's job to go out there and play fucking defense to not lose the game. Right. It's the defense's job, and y'all get paid enough money uh-huh. to go out and do exactly what you've done since he's been fired. <laughs> okay. What's the difference? His voice? You you. So you're telling me? You, I think you want to know what it is. Like bro. legit, you want to know what I think it is? Respect. Real talk, bro. If you're playing for somebody that you respect and somebody who you believe has your best interest in mind. You're going to want to play harder. It's kind of like how we talk about momentum, right? Like, momentum's not a statistic, but it has a dramatic impact on the game. Okay. Like, I'm, like come on, so, though. I, so, like, I get real. what you're saying, but yeah. let me ask you a question. Like, though. it has to be somebody okay. who you want to play hard for. This is my real question. I played hard for any shitty coach for no money in high school. Right. If I was getting paid millions of dollars, but are you telling me? Are you telling me that like if you had a better coach, like it's just like bro, I don't need like, a better it's coach. Like, it's kind of like the difference between like working out with and without pre workout. It's just like no, that little not, extra boost dude. where you're just like, you dude. know what? Yeah, yeah, let's fuck some shit up, man. You know what I mean? So look, it depends on I guess what people look at as motivation. Well, okay? Right. Because I was already worked my ass off for shitty coaches in high school for free. If I got paid millions of dollars. To play the sport that I love, I don't give a fuck who I'm playing under. You're getting 100 for fucking percent. It's millions of dollars. Like, the fact that people get so caught up in, oh, the coach has to talk to me a certain way or be it. What the fuck are you talking about? You well, make at that point, millions at that point, well, of let's, dollars, hey, but, but let's bro. acknowledge this, though. Like, you may not agree with it, but that exists in the NFL. There are players who are like that. That okay, got ego. So I get that. Are, are you like that? Apparently, you would be one of those, right? Me? No. Right. So, well, so look, let me tell you something. Like, okay, come on now. Like, right now. Yeah. All right. My Jaguars suck. I need a lineman. I'll pay you $2 million 
next year to be my lineman. I need you to block for me, though. Okay. Would you fucking go out and give 100% effort to fucking well, block? Well, here's another thing to consider, right? That's a lot of money to us right now, but a lot of those guys in the NFL, those mil- like, right? they already got their bread. Okay. You see what so, I'm saying? So then, okay. So, so it's less about so the bread and more this, about just the game. This is what I'm talking about then. So what is the real issue then? It's not the coach. It's the player then at that point. Well, I th- it's a relationship. It is. It, it's a two-way street. Heston, you played sports in high school, right? Yeah, uh, not in high school, but yeah. Like but growing up sports. and stuff. Yeah. Were there coaches that you played for that you didn't like? You could say so, yeah. Did you still give full effort, though? I mean, yeah, for sure. So what the fuck, then? Yeah, like I, I get it. it. It's it's not AAU, right, or like flag football, but come on, dude. It's a, it's a profession. Yeah, you've worked yourself to this point. Uh huh. So it doesn't really matter what a motherfucker tells you, right? Because to me, I never got hyped off my coach, right? I didn't. I got hyped off the people I played with. True that. So as long as they was. Let's go. I respect that. That's, so I respect that. On top of that, I feel like if you're making millions of dollars, you you can't sit up here and say the pep talk that you got from your coach going into the game was whack, so you played whack. No motherfucker. No, I think I don't, no I don't, That's not really what I'm saying. I, it's kind of like an existing relationship, like throughout the whole season. It's yeah, but, it's more complex than that. So I so I get what you're saying. Yeah, but that means. That you give like, half think, effort, like, though? Think, well, think about it like this, right? Like You give half effort, well, Look though? at it this way. Look at it through this lens. Like, you're playing for a head coach, right? And the head coach and the, t- and, the and a lot of the players' philosophy of what the game plan should be moving forward are different. Right. But because the head coach is the head coach, right. the head coach could be self-aware and mm-hmm. go, you know what? Like, if you guys think this is the way that we should go, then I'm going to hear that and we're, we're, right. we're going to work on it. Right. But there's a lot of head coaches that go... I call the game plan. This is what I think will make us win. That's fine. That's the way it's going to be. You don't have to agree with it. You just got to go out and give 100% effort. You're right. But so, what I'm what I'm saying, though, is that if you continue losing it, and y'all don't agree okay. with the philosophy right. that the head coach has in charge, right. I'm not saying you're, you may not give 100%, I would but you're going to have a lack of motivation. That's a lie. You know why I say that? J.J. Watt. JJ he literally Watt makes my an, point. He's an exception to the rule. No, he's not. Yes, he, he literally is. makes my point. He's an exception. He literally makes my point. And JJ Watt said he wants out of Houston. Why? He though? proves your point. Why though? Because they suck. So why does he want out though? Because the team was trying to rebuild and do some extra shit, right? Right. Has JJ Watt? Have we just seen him go out in the game though and play shitty? No. Fuck no. You never see JJ Watt do that. He's an exception. No, he's not. He is. He's a role model. You know why he's not an exception? Because every sports player should be doing that. Should be. That's why he's not. But they, but they don't. Because what of I'm what saying. you're saying. That's what I'm saying. Well, right. Yeah. Right. So it shouldn't be an exception. If okay, you're getting so paid the so money. So you're not saying that everyone does do that. You're saying they should do that. Dude, you're getting paid all that money. I, you were already good, right, in your position to get there. Just play how you always play. If you don't agree with your coach or whatever, you still are required to go out and do what the fuck you were paid to do. I can agree with that. So, I mean, I get it, right? The coach sucks, but that that shouldn't deter your play on the fucking field when you go play. Well, with your what team. if you're just doing as you're told, and your assignment is to hey, like they dude, run a zone, right? And you dude. don't think they should run a zone, but you know what? You're told to run a zone. You play your zone, and they score on you. The, like well, that's okay. So that's what okay. Do you do about that? But that's gonna happen the whole <laughs> game. That happens the whole game. If you got a bad coordinator. Well, I mean, oh, okay. Well, then there you, you go. See what I'm saying? So, like I said, it's not the head coach, but it's like the coordinator. But, well, what I'm saying is that like head coach, like. Coordinators don't always call the plays. Like head coaches call the plays a lot of the time, so like it's a case by case basis. Now, well, now what with, you're with saying my is team, right. Yeah, I, I'm talking about my team. Schwartz, I thought, I thought Schwartz, Doug Peterson called the plays. Schwartz calls all the defensive plays. What about offense? Schwartz. What about offense? It's Schwartz. What about offense? Well, I mean, Doug calls some. Right. Some. I'm talking about defense though, okay. because my, my my most important thing is our defense is trash. Okay. Schwartz calls all them plays. All right. Wentz looks that's trash. <laughs> Wentz has been looking trash. I've been said Wentz is inaccurate. Like, he's a good quarterback. A really big part of that is Doug P, though. I've already told you this. Wentz is an accurate quarterback, but he's very inaccurate when we need him. So, right. Jalen should have been came in. You're right. 
So Dougie, that was that was gonna be the next topic. Right. Let, let's kind of breeze over that. Yeah, let's go. So so Wentz got benched for Jalen Hurts. Should have been happened, bro. They I played told you noticeably this. better the second that Hurts went in. Right. So much so I actually heard I started sweating a little bit. Packers fans were like they were hitting my phone up, but I wasn't paying attention. Uh-huh. They were like, dog, y'all almost like rallied this. A little shit. bit. Well, y'all, like, y'all rallied. So I was y'all like, just almost to, came back. I was like, it's thirty to sixteen. Like what? Mm. But I didn't watch the yeah. game physically. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, y'all played noticeably better with him in Dougie P. Right. He just kept giving chance after chance after chance to Carson, right. knowing that, bro, you know he he's not doing what he needs to do. Now, does he need better receivers? Does he need a better line? Yes. But if Jalen Hurts can get into it's the true, same it's true, team yep. with no line and yep. no receivers right. and win, mm-hmm. what's the better no, move? At that point, there's no excuse. So then Wentz just got to sit the fuck down. Yep. You got to put Jalen Hurts in and let's win with a shitty team. Right. And leave it at that. Yeah. You you can't keep defending Wentz saying like it is what it is, dude. Right. It is what it is. And okay. So, we have a couple topics left, but oh like we're gosh. already over. So let's just make our picks let's and go. then we'll wrap it up. <laughs> um, shout out to your boy. I'm up by one now. I've made the the big comeback from being down by like four, like three uh, or four. It, it wasn't really a big comeback, guys. We're getting to the end of the season, so he's just making a. It was a big comeback. A, a, a noticeable comeback, which I've done every time me and him have done picks. So it, it's nothing crazy. Now it's <laughs> right. about to get crazy. Well, I'm up now, by one right now. And yeah. update on the Bills 49ers game. Bills are up 34 to 17 with and, six minutes left in the and fourth. And we called. We both called the Bills. Exactly. Hey, up top. That was a good pick, by I the way. I mean, that's an easy pick. Dallas uh, ain't shit right now. Huh? That's an easy pick. Dallas ain't shit right now. We're talking about or, 49ers. I mean, they're not either. Right? <laughs> All right. Well, yeah. Um, so. The last I was game about left. We game. called. We both called the Steelers winning. We both know how that ended. Um, we both oh called the Bills winning, gosh. and we both called the Ravens. So by the end of this week, I will still be up by one, no matter what. He can have that one. I gave it to him, guys. I let him come back on purpose, but I'm about to crush him this week. Watch, watch. All right. Watch. This schedule actually has a couple of doozies. I'm going to sure be honest. Do. This sure week do. has a couple of tough picks. I'm gonna crush you this week. Okay. Watch. First game: Patriots at Rams. Rams. I picked the Rams as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, next one. Ah, oh, shit. Hold up. Titans, Jaguars at Jags. Where do you know? Titans. I picked the Titans as well. Vikings at Bucks. I gotta pick the Bucks on this one. I, I picked the Bucks. I, I really kind of low key want to pick the Vikes for the upset. And if they fucking Off win, the Bucks buy. I'm gonna be pissed off the bucks by i really want to pick the vikings okay. but i'm a i gotta play it smart now since we're towards the end of the year we only got like four I, more I, weeks. I gotta pick like the right teams all right i had to pick the right so teams. bucks yeah chiefs dolphins at miami who's starting tua tua started this past week too and they won but it wasn't pretty it doesn't matter i don't care about pretty Oh, See, shit. the game being in Miami makes it interesting. That's why, okay, you know what? I'm going to pick Miami. If I go down two, that's okay. I'll Ooh, make it up somewhere else. I pick the Chiefs. I'm going to pick Miami. Amen. Hey, if you win that I'm one, that's Miami. huge. Yeah, I'm going to pick Miami. Let's talk. Uh, Broncos yeah. at Panthers. Uh, I'm going to pick the Panthers on that one. I pick the Broncos. All right. See, well, we're going to make, we're going to, you're either going to go up yep. or I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> Texans at Bears. That was the doozy. That this was one, one of is them. because the Chicago Chicago's been playing sucked. ass. Yep. And yeah, but, Trubisky, Trubisky's but, still starting. Uh, but Will Fuller is out Chicago, on the suspension. It's Chicago, though. Uh, yeah. Fuck. I'm going with Chicago. Come on. Woo! Bro, we're about to either be separated I or close I picked the after Texans. This. Holy yeah, shit. Yeah, bro, we're about to. <laughs> All right, Cardinals at Giants. Cardinals, come on now. I picked the Giants. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. We're literally picking everything separate. I did. Um, Cowboys at Bengals. Bengals. <laughs> I picked the. Oh my fucking! I picked goodness. the Bengals as well. Oh my goodness! I picked the Bengals. Raiders. Um, Raiders. Colts. Raiders. Raiders. I know you picked the Colts. Yep, I picked the Colts. Uh oh! I'm about to shoot myself in the foot, guys. Jets. Seahawks. Seahawks. At Seahawks. Seahawks. Oh. Um, All right, I picked the Seahawks uh, too. I'm about to be down by like six after this. <laughs> Packers at Detroit. <laughs> I'm going with the Lions, bro. Wow. I'm about to just pick Are you crazy. about to throw your whole season I away? I might. On this? I might. It's okay. We don't All get right. money from it. So that's it's good. true. Falcons, Falcons at Chargers. Falcons. No, you know what? The Chargers. Fuck that. Whoa. I believe in my boy Herbert. All right. Well, Ooh, I picked I the Falcons. Pee. Oh, the Chargers, by the way, who just lost 45 to 0 to the Pats are now eliminated from the playoffs. 
Just oh an FYI. Gosh, bro. Uh, Washington at 49ers. Uh, I'm going to have to pick the Washington Redskins. <laughs> the Washington football team. I picked the 49ers. Bullshit. All right, there we go. Uh, I, I'm Saints. picking my Eagles. I'm picking my okay. Eagles. Okay, Saints at Eagles. Eagles. I picked the Saints. I got to pee, bro. Come on now. I do too. I got to <laughs> pee really bad. Um, Steelers at Bills. Uh Oh, I got to pick my Steelers. And you know what? I'm going to pick the Browns on the next one. Oh, we shouldn't have picked that, but I did. All right, that's fine. I'm going to go pee, guys. We've kind of given up on doing Monday night anyway, so whatever. (laughs) All right, you go. I'll I'll wrap up the show. Wrap it up? I'll wrap it up. Okay, um, uh, I picked the Browns. I picked the Ravens. I picked the Ravens. Sorry, guys. We try to do this show, like, as much as possible without taking, like, bathroom breaks. But we drink a lot, and we got to piss a lot. Um, so Damien is in the bathroom right now. I'm just going to wrap this up. (laughs) You you hear him though. Um, okay. Well, that's it. That wraps up the show. Um, we appreciate you guys for joining us. This is our first video sports show. I hope that you appreciate it. Yeah, man. And, uh, I'm about to go take a huge piss. Uh, I had y'all tune in on Friday. We got a really good, um, definitely not handsome episode set up for you guys. And uh, just, we appreciate you guys for fucking with us. We're about to hit 1,500 uh, listens on the show, which was our goal for the end of the year. So if we hit that, that's going to be huge. Uh, we're going to continue to make improvements, not only to the show, but to the YouTube channel as well. And uh, as soon as we hit 1,500, y'all are going to hear about it. Yeah, oh, hell yeah, I will. Y'all about to hear that shit in the next episode. But yeah, man, next gonna, ep- probably next episode, if we, I'm being honest. I said Christmas, New Year's, but y'all about to hear that shit now. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Anyways, y'all take it easy. <laughs>